Hello, friends, and welcome to the stream. Hello, we're we, I'm, I'm here. Hey! Welcome to Let's Play Carmel Games. We're not there yet. We're not just yet. We're not yet just there. <laughs> How many different ways can I rearrange those words before they make sense? Oh, Jesus! That came in super loud for me. I don't know how it came in with you guys. Hopefully the audio is all okay. We've got a chair from Racing Fan already. I want to welcome a few people to the stream. We've got Pack Wolf Gaming was here earlier, maybe still there. Lil Dog, Shino's Mod Spot, uh, Racing Fan of course, and Hey69. Welcome everybody to the stream. We've already got a high chair, so I guess we'll do the high chair already. We've oh, I've just started. I like how you like to wait for me to just start the stream and then, <laughs> blam, high chair. All right. Let's take a moment while we wait on a few more people to stream into the stream. Hopefully to just say hey to our chair. Hey chair, how you doing? I like how when we do the pre-show, because our video feed is blown up more on screen, people get to see the chair a little bit better. You're not just this tiny little thing in the corner that no one can hardly see. Um, I hope you're all taking a moment to appreciate your chairs, holding them up to the stream. Little chair high five situation going on here, chair to chair action. I'm gonna go ahead and put you back down so we can do our thing. Oof. This is the pre-show for any of you that didn't make it to yesterday's stream. There's not a lot of you here tonight. I, I started a little late, so hopefully that's not the reason. Hopefully we get more people piling in here. But if you weren't here yesterday, we're doing this new thing. New sort of schedule. I'm late today. I want to, I really want to try to get as close to starting at 6 as possible. D doing a pre-show for half an hour. Playing games at 6.30. Going to about 9.30. Doing a post show, wrapping up about 10. I'm late today. My fault. I'm sorry. All of that said, ooh, <clears throat> almost choked in that. All of that said, tomorrow will be an exception. Fridays will be an exception. I gotta move this pad. Fridays will be an exception because I play that with the guys and my schedule has to wait on all of them being available. So tomorrow, Friday, ooh, I just. Knocked in your butt out. Friday, we will be playing later. It'll be later in the evening. I might start streaming a little bit early, but usually my guys, my guys, my friends aren't available until about eight. So tomorrow we might start closer to eight and then it'll be a late stream where we'll go late into like midnight-ish, maybe. So it's, it's still like a relatively same length stream. It just starts later. Does Fireball work again? No, I don't have it up, run, up and running again yet. You have to understand, I move very slow. <laughs> I move very slowly. No, Fireball does not yet work again. I'm way behind on the spells thing. I'm, I will always. I will always be behind on the spells thing. I've, d I've discovered that I just, there's just not enough time in the day. I got home from work and I ate food and I'm sitting down and I'm already late. That's all I've done. <laughs> that's, that's all I've done. I've worked today, I got home and I ate hot dogs and fries. And then I started streaming, and I'm still late. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. I need that. I need those congratulations. I needed that in my life right now. Literally, that's all I did, though. It's all I did, and I'm, I still ended up late. Uh, but this, we, this won't be a long pre-show. I just want to use this as um, the pre-show for anyone that wasn't here yesterday. The pre-show is my chance to make any announcements that I might have about the channel and stream to explain anything I need to explain, to hang out and chat with you guys a little bit as I wait for more people to kind of pile in just in case people are late so they're not coming in, in, in into the middle of a game necessarily. Maybe give people the best chance to make it to the stream relatively on time. So I think it's a nice buffer. I think it's a nice buffer before we officially sit down and start. It's also enough time for people to discover me, realize I'm not playing a game, get bored with me immediately and leave. It's a fickle crowd out there. <laughs> Ryan Cunningham, welcome to the stream. Hello. You are on the Inca game stream. I know very little about Carmel games. Regardless, let's do this. Absolutely. Time to appear as well. Welcome to the stream. Um, if you're not familiar with Carmel games, don't worry. Very similar to Inca games. It's a point and click adventure type thing on the internet. The difference is Carmel games tends to be a lot easier, a lot shorter, um, but kind of nice. 
kind of nice. I, I, I actually really enjoy the Carmel games as being a sort of break from the in Inca game stuff. Since Inca games tends to be usually so much more difficult, I kind of enjoy Carmel games as kind of like a little, a little treat. Like candy, like caramel, right? Just a little treat on the side to just kind of uh, cleanse the palate a little bit um, with, some, with some easy stuff to make me feel smarter than I actually am. So I hope you guys enjoy it too. There's also some amazing voice work in their games. They voice act and it's sublime. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll see that very soon, so I, I will be able to take a break. That's why recording Carmel games is ac actually kind of nice. I get, I get to take a break from voice acting all the Inca games stuff, for sure. Uh, you have played some of the games. Luke Deluxe is your personal favorite. Have I played Luke Deluxe yet? No. I don't think so. Not yet. I don't think I have yet. I forget which ones I've played and which ones I haven't. I'm very bad at remember the, remembering the titles to a lot of these things. A lot of them get to be very samey, um, just because a lot of the art style is samey and it eventually kind of forget, wait, did I play that? Wait, what was the plot to this one? I, at least for me, I get, I get a little confused, but. You went to a career center and made sushi. Nice, that sounds productive. I don't know what you were doing at the career center. I hope it went well. Um, I don't like sushi. I don't like, I don't like seafood, but. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it all the same. My day, I worked all day, and then I came home, and I ate hot dogs and fries, and then I was late to my stream. So, so here we are. That's that's what I've done, making that money, making make make making that money. We are gonna jump into this here in a minute. Luke Deluxe is basically a remastered version of the Caramel Game Luke. Did we play Luke? I think we played Luke, right? We definitely played Luke, right? Let, let me refresh my memory. I'm gonna look up Luke real quick. Hang on, hang on, I can do this. Come on, internet, come on, baby. Let's go into video. I'm sure I've played Luke. I gotta go into my videos. I'm gonna look up Luke. Yes, we did play, oh, that was the one with the, okay, with the, uh, with the lady that was like dating us, the player for our money, because we played as like a rich guy and she had that like brat child that was like, He's like evil or whatever. So we haven't played Luke Deluxe, but we have played Luke. Eventually we'll get to Luck, uh, to Deluxe. I wonder why they bothered to remaster it. Why, why did they bother to do that? I'll find out when we get there. But it seems like that they didn't do, I don't think they did that with any of the other ones. So it seems like that would be so highly unnecessary, but oh well. Okay, you signed up for it. I've not yet, yeah, I've not yet played the Deluxe version deluxe L luke luke deluxe luke deluxe if you mispronounce deluxe you can kind of force a luke in there like a weird kind of pun what is that a cat in a box coming out of the box dab 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 cat in a box cat in a box quad quad dab <laughs> are those just your Three, I, had a, I couldn't count those, or those your three favorite emoji. What is the game you're playing? So, we'll be playing Caramel Game Stuff. The first one we'll be playing is going to be Sweet Revenge, because we just played, oh, has it come out yet? Oh, it hasn't come out on the channel yet, but it will. I've already uh, recorded and uploaded Skip Around the World Finland. So we will be doing that on the channel, or it will be on the channel later, but I will be just starting today with Sweet Revenge, and then we'll keep playing through as many as we can, pretty much, until the end of the stream. And like I say, they're shorter. Sweet Revenge? Yeah, that's what it's that's what it's called. It's called Sweet Revenge. Um, I gotta check something real quick, just to make sure that I haven't played some of these. Sweet Revenge, then quest for milkshake day at library. Yeah, it looks like yeah, it looks like I'm good I don't have any because I won't be playing any of the vortex point ones cause we, cause, because we have already actually played those So we won't be doing that, but there's several that we haven't played yet. There's a lot that we haven't played yet at all. So Stay tuned here in just a minute. What's better Roblox or Minecraft? They're very different games 
Um, Roblox is kind of less of a game and more of a game platform with many games on it. So some Roblox games are terrible and some are really fun. So it's kind of like the whole gamut between terrible and good, whereas Minecraft is more consistently good, but it's also consistently the one game. So if you're really into Minecraft, beautiful. It won't fail you. If you're not into Minecraft, well, you can't just suddenly start playing something else within Minecraft. With the exception of, like, multiplayer servers and that kind of thing. Now, I'm not including that. Although, maybe I should, to be fair, since Roblox is also online only. So, maybe I should include, my, like, my multiplayer servers on Minecraft. But, um, as far as which is better, I think Minecraft is the better game. Because, again, Roblox isn't one game. So it's up to the community to make sure the community makes great games for Roblox. So I'd have to give it to Minecraft if I had to rate them on a scale of which is the better game. And I don't think that's a diss. I think they're just on very different playing fields. I think they're on two very different levels in many ways. Those are good kitties. Are they? Are they though? Do you know that? Is this true? Why do you get the feeling it's going to involve candy? I imagine it will. So the thumbnail I, I can see for it, and you guys will see the game here in a minute, is, uh, what's the name of the character? There's this character in Carmel Games called Crazy Dad. It looks like we're going to play as Crazy Dad, and he seems to be inside a candy shop. So I don't know what the revenge will be, but it will involve candy in some, in some capacity. Louise, hey, welcome to the stream. Glad you could make it. We're just doing the pre-show a little bit. Oh, don't be sorry that you're late. That's why we have the pre-show. Hey, so that you haven't missed much yet. You haven't missed any of the games yet. That's why we do the pre-show to let people kind of pile in a little bit, yeah? Maybe it's the word sweet. Yeah, no, it's definitely the word sweet, making you think it's candy. Make, making you think it's going to be candy-related. And it probably will be. There we go. Um, did I have any more announcements before we get going? I didn't want to make this a long pre-show. Do I have any more announcements I want to talk about? I kind of explained what the pre-show is. We'll have a post-show at the end of the stream, and we'll do that um, either until the end of the stream or until everyone bails on me and I'm not talking to anyone anymore, whichever one comes first. Uh, so there'll be a post-show later where we just kind of hang out and chill. I hope you guys take advantage of these pre- and post-shows just to hang out without necessarily doing a game. It's, it's my opportunity of maybe answering questions and fielding topics and that sort of thing instead of doing it necessarily during a game so that when I'm playing games, I can be focused on the games. Of course, I'll be checking out chat every now and again, but that way it doesn't feel like I'm constantly staring at chat during the game. That way it's a little bit more relaxed and and laid back during the games, but this is your chance during pre and post shows to actually really get into the nitty gritty of Q and A me or whatever the case might be, whatever you guys want to chat about, that kind of thing. Jensen, hey, welcome to the stream. I'm so glad you could make it. We're just doing the pre show. We'll be starting the game here very soon, so don't go anywhere. I've seen my number go up and down a couple of times. People are popping in, not knowing what I'm doing and popping out. Don't go anywhere too soon. We'll be playing the game here in a minute. <laughs> Ooh, crazy dad. Oh boy, I remember how you deal with one of the obs with one of the obstacles in the sweet revenge one. Well, if I get stuck, which I don't really foresee myself getting stuck on this one, on these ones. Although it has happened. It has happened before where I've been stuck, but Carmel games tend to be not too difficult. If I get stuck, it might only be for like a minute, and then maybe we'll figure it out. So we'll see how it goes. Sometimes the puzzles, sometimes a number puzzle. I, I, I start making it too hard. I start making it harder on myself and I like go the extra mile to like try to galaxy brain it, but it didn't need a galaxy brain solution. So I'm like overdoing it. And it's like, oh, I'm an idiot. The solution was just this, not this, it's just this. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Crazy dad's kids are on something. You'll see what I mean. Yeah, I don't think I've played a game with his kids in it yet i think they've been implied i don't think i've physically seen them yet all right here we go it's almost 7 15 i think i think that's sufficient I, I wanted to do a shorter one since i'm starting the stream late so we'll do a shorter pre-show so i think that's gonna do it um i'll try to do some kind of pre-show tomorrow as well i know it's with the guys so the time frame is always iffy but we'll try to do some kind of pre-show tomorrow as well i hope you guys like it let me know uh, somewhere in the YouTube verse where you can communicate with me. Let me know in a comment somewhere or something 
what you guys think of the pre and post shows as we continue doing it. I'm going to be doing it for the next week or two. Sorry, my eyeballs. <laughs> uh, can let me know somewhere, maybe on Discord or something, somewhere, what you guys think of it, what you guys think I should do with it. I know right now I'm just in a black space. I should probably get a background of some kind. I haven't decided what I want it to be, but also I kind of thought like this could be the darkness. <laughs> Only darkness. If anyone remembers what that reference even is. Does, it, does anyone remember? Only darkness. It was a Roblox reference. If you don't know it, don't worry about it. All right, shall we begin then? I think we shall. With that, without any further ado, let us begin the Carmel Games stream, shall we? And here we go. Hello, friends, and welcome to Let's Play Carmel Games. The first one up. Oh, after the snap break. Hang on. We have, we have to get through the ads. We have to get through the ads. Hang on. I never have any... I have no idea how Inca Games pulls it off, but I, do I need to click the play now? Do I have to? Oh, I do. I don't know how we never get ads. There we go. Sweet revenge by Carmel Games. There's a play button. What is under settings? What is actually here? We've got a sound effects, music, voice. I'm going to keep all of that on. We're definitely not going to touch that walkthrough. How do I get out of here? Giant red X. That's about the one. I'm going to hit the play button. Oh, there's the kids. No, I will not give you more money to let you. Your eyeballs are literally rolling. It's no, no more candy. It makes you crazy and hyperactive, and you spend all my money on candy already. I'll tell you what's at hyperactive. It's this guy's hair. How is it doing that? It has a mind of its own. Oh, never mind. I just remembered. Mom gave us twenty dollars this morning. Do you have to talk at the same time? <laughs> they really gave up on the boy, dude. Okay, bye. That candy shop will drive me insane. I must find a way to get that shop out of our people town. Oh, that's the revenge. We have to remove the shop. Can I answer the? Can I call the? Can I call a phone number? Hang on, hang on. Ah, nine one one won't answer. This truly is an emergency. Oh, washing. Okay, I can open it, but I can't. I hmm, I might need to wash something later. I don't know why. Card of Lewis Brown, the editor of the Daily Sticker, a <laughs> local tabloid filled with conspiracies and schemes. How did it get in here? I love the voice acting. It's so bad. <laughs> oh. They are definitely on something. They're on sweets. They're definitely on sweets. Well, I've got this card. We've got a phone number, 555-3304. I don't know why we're calling this person. I probably have nothing to say to them. Hi. Hi, this is Crazy Dad. I have some news for your tabloid. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna run, we're gonna run that candy shop through the mud. I suspect the local candy shop increased the amount of sugar in their candy to make the town's children hyperactive. I mean, that's pretty tame. As far as tabloids go, that's pretty tame. I see. Well, I suggest you stop by my office and we will make your story a bit more um, reliable. If that means making it completely not reliable and somehow involving Bigfoot, I'm in. Okay. Crazy Dad saying goodbye. Goodbye. I mean, I keep forgetting that his name is literally Crazy Dad, I but I, I feel like Crazy doesn't quite cut it. I feel like there's a li there's something else going on. I feel like there's a little more going on than just Crazy. I don't know what it is. Oh. Hello, it is I, Crazy Dad. What is happening with this guy's chin? Or is that supposed to be his neck? Is there something living inside of his chin? <laughs> Why is it going up and down? Crazy guy on the phone. I was thinking about your story and I have a better idea. You'll wear an alien costume. I will take a picture of it and then we'll publish an article saying that the candy shop is run by aliens. Uh, okay, I'm with you so far, but how do we involve Bigfoot? I want Bigfoot involved on this. Hmm, me like, but I don't have an alien costume. That's not a problem. All you have to do is get yourself a green suit and some claws. Wait. Wear them and go inside the candy shop. I will be there to take a picture of it. It's your idea and you don't even have the alien costume? You need to provide me the costume. Suit or claws. 
but I'll improvise. Not only do I not have claws, I definitely wear mittens. All right, well, can I take the scissors with me? Maybe Dad take the scissors? Sure, why not? I see no harm in giving sharp and dangerous scissors to a crazy guy from the street. Yep, I couldn't see how this could go wrong. What else do we got? Can I take the cup? Can I call the I don't phone? To... I don't want to touch it. No, I do not want to touch that phone. No way, Jose. All right, well, I don't see anything else unless I can just keep talking to him. All right, he just reminds us what the plan is. So we need to go get green suit and claws. I don't remember any of those things being at home. There's the candy shop, the tailor shop. Oh, tailor shop might get us the suit. And bus stop and a spooky alley. Well, I'm going to go to the spooky alley first because there's a camera. What? <laughs> Look at the size of this weird, like, uh, singularity level Skynet camera. What's inside here? We'd be a sack full of garbage. Always helpful. Kind of open the sack and make sure it's actually garbage and not like some sort of like secret drug bust or something. What is this? Mm, watermelon. Me like. Am I gonna turn that watermelon into a green suit somehow? I can't take it. There's a surveillance camera watching that sheet. Oh, it's watching the sheet specifically? That surveillance camera is watching the white sheet. Okay, beautiful. Can I put the card in front of it? I think we're gonna have to like do something to I deactivate can't cut the it. With regular scissors. I need pliers for that. Oh, well, that, that might be the solution. We need, okay, pliers. Sure, why not? All right, great. Well, I don't have pliers. There is, like, an insect here hiding on this wood, but I can't pick it up. Great. I think we'll just come back when we have pliers, right? I guess so. Uh, we've got a bus stop. Hey, ma'am, you look lovely. Do you have any pliers? Oh, that's my crazy neighbor, Amani. But look at that interesting necklace she's wearing. Yeah, I see it. Like some sort of like dragon, not dragon, dinosaur claw necklace. You want to ride the bus with me? I'm going to throw steam bombs on little children. That, that's incredibly unpleasant. That is terrible. I have to find a way to stop you. By the way, could you give me your necklace? No. I stole it from a hobo. What? What freaking universe do we live in? Like, Crazy Dad's not even the craziest character here. Everyone else is just crazy too. All right, well, uh, can I use the scissors to try to get the necklace off of her? Not, I wasn't trying to like stab her with the scissors or anything like that. Don't get the wrong idea. How about the garbage? Can I just throw a hot garbage on her? From the position you're at, do I need to get like over and drop a watermelon on her head? That seems incredibly not nice. That seems incredibly dangerous, but that's okay. Let's go to the. I'm not seeing uh, pliers. I'm not seeing a lot that I can. Oh, what I is this? Open the manhole cover alone. I need something strong enough to perform that action. Something like a crowbar. Okay, you don't have to say it like that. That's all right though. But we'll find a crowbar or some lead pipe or something. Can I go inside? Look, it's crazy bad. No, no, no! I won't let you in, you crazy man. Please keep your distance elsewhere. Okay, all right. What? I'm not finding anything to do. All right, but I think that's why we need to get into the manhole because she won't actually let us inside unless I disguise myself, maybe? Here, this is Ground Zero, the place from which we will take our revenge. The, the candy shop itself. Do you? These are our special glow-in-the-dark candies. Oh. They contain a healthy green glow and potassium benzoate. Great. Oh, I just, all right, I have I some I have some of that now. Maybe it's like dark in the manhole or something. Maybe dad wants to buy this candy. Excellent choice, sir. This candy cane has been here since Christmas of 1998. I believe you'll enjoy it. Uh, no, probably, I probably will not, but I have it. Great, I bet it's like hard. Oh, I bet it's like crazy hard. I bet we can use that to get into the manhole cover. I think it might be. Oh, I think it's, it might be. Why did the mouse never move in the Crazy Dad games? I don't know. I think it was just too much animation work. You know what the watermelon's for? Don't tell me. You did drop that melon on her head. That's what I was thinking too. Well, when he said that he needs to be in a better position, so I need to figure out how to get into a better position. 
Mentos gum. All right, great. What else can we do? Uh, can I grab some of whatever this is? Maybe Dad wants to buy this candy. Excellent choice, sir. These are extra hard candies. Be careful not to break your teeth. Okay, they're extra hard. Anything else I can just buy for him? I'm going to try to talk to you as well. Hello, it is I, Crazy Dad. Oh, hello, Crazy Dad. Oh, I hello. am thrilled to finally meet you. Thanks to your children, I can buy a yacht. Which, if thanks to my children he can buy a yacht, that means I've given him enough money to buy a yacht, which means I should have had enough money to buy a yacht. I should have bought a yacht. Yes, Crazy Dad knows. Why don't you take your business elsewhere and leave our peaceful, crazy free town alone? Everyone calls you crazy dad. You can't go around saying that this town is crazy free when yourself, you yourself, call yourself crazy dad. Why should I? Your children are making me rich, and so are the other children on the block. Crazy dad is about to go crazy! Crazy about to. Die, please. Don't want you to scare my clients. I'm the, I'm your only client. I'm your only client. It's just me. It's it's just me. I can't be about to go crazy. I'm already there. Well, I don't see anything else to buy from him or probably even talk to him about. I really want to try using this candy cane on the manhole cover. Oh my god, it works. Oh my god, it works. I was hoping it would. I'm going in. Ramona's house is sewer. I'm going into the sewer. Send me down. It's Ramona's house of sewer. Am I supposed to do something else down there? I got the green candy. This doesn't work. Oh, what? What am I supposed to? This does. What? Oh, I can put the garbage in there. This could cause some serious plumbing problems. Okay, I'm not sure that. I don't. I don't. I don't think that math checks out, but I'm gonna just take advantage of that and go inside. I feel like I I feel like I don't know the physics. Look, I'm not a plumber. I'm not Mario. It's not me, Mario. Okay, that was terrible. That wasn't even close. I'm not Mario. All right, I don't know, but I feel like the physics. I could use this sewing machine to sew my costume. I need to make sure I have everything I need: green cloth with eye holes and claws. All right, well, I don't have those things. I know where the sheet is, but I don't have it. And it's not green yet. Is there literally no other items or anything I can take in here? No, I guess not. I keep, all right, I guess we don't actually need to be in here yet. No, we'll leave. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, we'll go to the spooky alley and throw hard candy at the... There it is. He's broken. Uh, no one needs to know. No one needs to know a thing. You didn't see nothing. You didn't see nothing. <laughs> can I put the watermelon on the sheet and make it a green sheet somehow? Oh, I can use the scissors on the sheet probably to make eye holes. But I need to find a way to color the fabric first. Oh, maybe with the green candy, right? Maybe. Let me come back. Let's put a pin in that. Let's put a pin in that for the moment. Let's go to the bus stop. I think the claws that we need are her necklace. I can't think of anything I can do. From this position. Yeah, how do I get... Oh, 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 here's the... Oh, the ladder. Reach it. It's too high. Oh, the ladder. What about the candy cane? <gasps> We've done it. <laughs> no, don't you ever climb anything like that ever again. Now the little children are safe. Dead. She's dead. Ignore the stars. She's definitely dead. We've murdered this woman. I'm taking those. Take that necklace with me. Yep, I'm taking those with. And I'm going to... Uh, I still don't know how to color it green though. I have nothing to say to her. Why? I swear, was that someone else entirely? <laughs> that was someone else speaking just now, I swear. All right, I don't see anything else to do. How do we actually color this green though? Is it something I got to do at the tailors? This doesn't, are you crazy? I need to color the fabric green first. I also need to cut eye holes so I'll be able to see through the costume. Okay, great. We got to color it green. I feel like the green candy is the way to go, right? Do I need to, like, cut it up or something? Do I need to claw it up? I, f I feel like I'm so close. Do I, need to do I need to smash it up somewhere? Oh, 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 no. It's the washing machine in my house. 
It's the washing machine in my house. Yeah, oh, that's not my house. As much as I want it to be, it's not my house. We can put the sheet, the green candy. Great idea. The green candy would color the white sheet. There we go. Just like my white pants turned to pink when my crazy son put his red shirt in with the white laundry. Okay, you you calm you calm yourself. You calm yourself for a minute. I have glow in the dark green sheet. <laughs> Don't you ever laugh at me like that again. I'm gonna scissors this sheet. And I've got claws. Alright, we need the sewing machine to put the claws together, apparently. Great. Yes! It's happening! Okay, great. Now we can go to the tabloid's office, right? Or do we just meet outside the candy shop? Oh, he's gone. He's gone. I think we just meet out at the candy shop? Oh, there we go! It's fun! Barbalala. Oh, it's a green ghost. I'm an alien. I'm an alien. <laughs> no, I think it's a crazy man. You're right. He is crazy. I know how to recognize crazy people. I should have been a psychiatrist. I thought I was supposed to have my picture taken outside the candy shop, not inside, because now everyone's going to know. If it's a small enough town, they're all going to know it's just, it's just a crazy person. <laughs> Crazy. I cannot argue with that. Let me call the mental institution. The, where's the tabloid guy? He's not even here. Well, at least I have some peace and quiet. I like how they didn't even put me in like a straight jacket or anything. They just literally gave me a white version of my exact same clothes. Attention crazy dad. Attention crazy dad. You got visitors. I would not want that blaring in my ear all day. I would not want this blaring in my ear all day. No. That's great. Could one of you speak at a time, please? No. You gotta commit. You gotta commit to the no. <laughs> no. There we go. That's been one game down already. That, that's, that's been sweet revenge. We didn't take any revenge. I don't know what happened to the tabloid guy. He bailed. He booked it. He bounced. He was like, no, never mind. Not having it. <laughs> Kendall the Quella, welcome to the stream. Yay. Yay. Can you think about playing Ultimate Chicken Horse? Oh, man. That one needs like multiplayer. If my friends and I get it at some point, maybe. I know that I know what that game is. I've never played it. That'd be a good one. All right. So what's next? Next up, let me just pop this off real quick while I get it set up. The next one is Quest for Milkshake. <laughs> I don't know what this is going to be about. Oh my. Blam. Quest for Milkshake. In this Sesame Street tribute game, you'll help Snuckers, the green furry monster, to make a coconut milkshake for his favorite customer. I don't know. Look, Sesame Street for me was like years ago, many years ago. I don't know. I was probably like five or something. I'm not going to know what any of these characters are. I'm not going to know about any of this. I'm probably not going to care about any of it. But all the same, let's try to make ourselves a milkshake. If there's one thing I do know about and I do enjoy, it's this milkshake. I sure love to taste their coconut milkshake. I heard it's the best coconut milkshake in the whole wide world. Oh, coconut milkshakes are not great. Not a big fan of coconut milkshakes. I'm okay with coconut like donuts or chocolates, but in a milkshake? Hello? Can I get service in this place? You cannot get service in this place. Hello, sir. What can I get you? <laughs> I love the voice acting. It's so bad. I want a coconut milkshake. This guy's fine because it's just like someone talking. I'm terribly sorry, sir, but we're all out of coconut milkshake. I am totally sorry, sir, but we are out of coconut milkshake. That would have been my version. That would have been my rendition. Then why does it say... 
that today's special is the coconut milkshake. Because it was today's special and then they ran out. I don't know, sir. Like the pyramid and the Stonehenge, it will remain a mystery. How very, how very deep of you. Well, I'm not moving anywhere until I get my coconut milkshake. I came a long way to taste your coconut milkshake, and I will taste <laughs> your coconut milkshake. Would you say that my coconut milkshake brings all the Muppets to the yard, and they're like, whoa, baby. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. All right, and that's our job. We have to play as this little green, green goober here and get ourselves a coconut milkshake made for this man. I don't think he's gonna buy it. No, I want a coconut milkshake, and you're the only place in town that sells coconut milkshake. But a strawberry milkshake would be a lot better. I'm a fan of strawberry. Strawberry's pretty up there for me. Yeah, but maybe you want to try another cake, like blueberry milkshake. No, I do not want to try another taste. Bring me my coconut milkshake. Are you sure you want a coconut milkshake? I feel like you look kind of like a coconut. What if that's cannibalism? Yes, sir. One coconut milkshake coming right up. All right, we'll go see what we can do. Let's go see what we can do. What do we got here? A recipe? Coconut milkshake recipe. Put these ingredients inside your blender. It is very important to follow the correct order. One shredded coconut, goat milk, sugar. Turn on the blender. Once the milkshake is ready, pour some chocolate syrup on top. Okay, shredded coconut, goat, goat, goat milk. You got it. This is watermelon. I can offer Mr. Furry Orange a watermelon milkshake. Where's my coconut milkshake? I want oh my, my god, I'm not gonna get milkshake. anything done. Um, one coconut milkshake coming right up. All right, I guess I shouldn't have clicked on the watermelon. I don't have any shredded coconut unless it's this stuff. Yeah, but we don't have a coconut. This item, this item. This one. This one. This well, what one. are these ingredients? Oh, what is this? What did we grab? Small glass with me. Okay, I've got a small glass. It's a blender. Oh, I was looking at the pan, but sure. It's a mincer. A mincer. Did I put the coconut on the mincer? Oh god, there's a map! <laughs> oh, we can leave! There's a llama. I'm going to the llama. Hey, oh, that's is a sheep, maybe? What are you? What? Oh, for the goat milk. You're a goat. Oh. Ooh, look at this. It's a beautiful coconut tree. All right, but there's no coconuts on the coconut tree. There's uh, is that just gonna go? Is that gonna just send me to like armor games? No. Okay, great. It's a castle, an arena. What is this? A wooden pole with a rope attached to it. Do I need to cut it? I can't cross the river. My fur will get wet. There's something very strangely different about the vibe to this one. The vibe to this game is very different from the other ones. I truly believe so. Hey, your local Tims, welcome to the stream. It's your birthday. Well, happy birthday to you. Hello, welcome. I never want to hear the word coconut milkshake again already. Coconut milkshake. Yeah, I think he is a coconut. He's wearing coconut. Is that the guy from Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared? No, but also maybe. I'll give the sword to the guy for sure. Let's make sure we do that. Okay, I'm gonna go check out the anvil next on the stump here. What's up? Hello, Mr. Tanner. Mr. Tanner. Hello, snuckers. I'm very busy. I have a sword I need to deliver to Michael Benetta, but I don't have time to go all the way to his castle. I've got nothing but time. How about you bring me the sword and I'll deliver it to Michael? That's a great idea. Thank you, snuckers. Oh, it's no problem. Can I get that banana? Ooh, a banana. What if I sword the banana? I think it might work. I think if you actually really tried Snuckers, I think it might work. Should we go try to give that uh, that sword to this guy? Would you like? <laughs> would you like a sword? Go, sir. A sword. <laughs> I want a coconut milkshake, please. Here you go, sir. A sword, just like you asked. <laughs> 
you drive me insane? I asked for a coconut milkshake. Oh, you asked for a coconut milkshake? My mistake, sir. I'll be right back with your coconut milkshake. Here's a glass. Oh, I was hoping every single item I got, I was hoping I could try to give it to him. That would have been amazing. Uh, what's this uh, mud monster situation? Oh, it, it actually is called mud monster. I thought I was just being silly. That's great. I can do whatever the frick I please. <laughs> can I get a glass of the mud? What do you mean I can't do it while the mud... Is he not going to like it if I take some of his mud? Is he a protective mud monster? Alright, well, I'll figure something else out. Man, there's not a lot I've been able to do. Hey, cotton candy man. Hello, Snuggers. Want free blue cotton candy? Absolutely, I want free yeah, cotton, candy. Blue cotton candy. He said free! It's free. Okay, and what color is the blue cotton candy? I swear to God, Snuggers, I will punch you straight in the snucker. It's blue. Please, please, just, just end me. Just end it now. Just, no, please. It's free. Yes, but what color is this blue cotton candy? Please make it stop. Please. It's blue. Please don't keep going. Please let this be the end. I understand. No, please. What do you charge for this God. Candy? Why have you forsaken me? Take it. Take it already. You're driving me crazy. And that's the story of how Crazy Dad came to be. <laughs> Alright, great. Can I take your bell? May I take this beautiful bell? Yes. Take it. Just take it and leave. I am gonna rob this poor sucker blind. Can I take your monkey? <laughs> oh, he needs the banana, probably. I don't know why, but he needs the I banana. I'm needing. I'm. I'm needing to go get myself a bonano. Do I? <laughs> I asked for a coconut milkshake. This is not a coconut milkshake. <laughs> Do you want some free blue cotton candy? It isn't. No, it isn't. Now go back to the kitchen and bring me a coconut milkshake. I want a coconut milkshake. I feel like. I feel like this guy, if it were me, I'd definitely have left by now. Alright. Ah, I couldn't give him the bell. Can I put the... Oh. That's how we're gonna get the sugar. That's how we're gonna get sugar. Oh, I see. You're not the right order of ingredients. Can I put the sword in the watermelon? Can I glass the watermelon? This doesn't work. Can I sugar the watermelon? You don't work. Well, I'm gonna. Can I go to the goat and bell you? Looks like the goat likes me now. Look, I don't even know why I tried it, let alone know why it even works. All right, so now I guess I can just bring you with me to here. Oh, he likes me now, but... Oh, do I need to use the glass on you? Can I milk you? The glass is too small. It can't contain enough milk. You're too small. You can't contain enough milk. This doesn't work. Oh, God. Well, at least it likes me now. I can use the sword on this probably, right? Hey, You can go inside the castle. Hey, You're, you're the Michael or whatever. Great. Also, here's your sword. Hello, Michael. It is I, your favorite friend, Snuckers. Yeah, that's right. I've decided for you that I'm your favorite. Yes, lucky me. How did you get in? I pulled the bridge up. No mere bridge can stop the powerful Snuckers. I cut the bridge as well. I brought you the sword from Mr. Tanner. That's very nice of you. I want to give you something in return. Please, have this glass bottle. Ooh. Thank you. Maybe I can milk a goat with it. Anything else I can do in here? Can I stick you? This doesn't work. I bet the stick will let us get the bonono. 
I bet we can get the Bonono with a stick. Hey, we got the Bonono. I am the Bonono King. All right, we can do that with the monkey. I don't know why. I don't know what this is going to accomplish for us. I'll carry this nice monkey with me. Oh, he's going to help us get the coconut, isn't he? Uh, we can use the monkey to go get the coconut. My monkey decided to stay in the top of that coconut tree. I hope you will never forget the good times we had together. Okay. Ouch. He did. Now I have a coconut. Great. Awesome. Also bottle. Uh, now I have goat milk. Easy as one, two, five. Uh, we've got the milk now, so now I guess we can go maybe make that milkshake, right? Can I, how do I make? How do I? How do I break the coconut? Hmm. Hmm. I don't trust that watermelon. How do we break it? Where? What have we seen? The mud monster? Can I stick you? I don't know why, but I want to hurt you. All right. I have the sugar. I have the coconut. I don't know how to shave the coconut. Unless there was, like, I've got the mincer. One shredded coconut. I don't have a shredded coconut. Your trigger word is Styrian? I don't even know what that means. Cut his shirt for a coconut? Your eyes and ears are bleeding. Oh no. Can I get a coconut milkshake? Worker, here you go. It's a kale smoothie. Eee. I like it. He wouldn't know the difference, right? He wouldn't even know the difference. Okay, well, we don't need to be here. I still don't know what I'm doing with you. I'm surprised. I can't. They literally can't do anything with you? I mean, maybe if I. Wait, what, what's this? Oh, no, that's just that. I don't know if I need to, like, water him? So that we can, like, remove the mud? Doesn't make any sense. Wait, give the guy the coconut by itself. I want to see what happens. Oh, that's a good call. Let's go find out. Welcome to the Stram. Pack Wolf Gaming, member Pack of the channel. Pack Wolf Gaming, welcome to the Stram. For a coconut milkshake. This is not a coconut milkshake. Ah, uh, yes, but it is a coconut. It isn't. No, it isn't. Now go back to the kitchen and bring me a coconut milkshake. I want a coconut milkshake. If I can give you this coconut, I'll be right back. and I can give you this milk. A woo. I asked for a. No, he doesn't like it. All right, is there actually anything else I can grab here that maybe I've forgotten about? No. How do I shred the coconut? Maybe I can offer Mr. Furry Orange a water um, what, what is the purpose of the this, watermelon? This, There's gotta be a reason for this, it, right? This, this. I can't use the coconut like this. It will break my blender. I mean, yeah, it would. I can't use the coconut like this. I need to break it first. I need to break it first. Maybe we can go use the sword on the... On the... Excuse you. The, on the wall? This doesn't work. I need to break my coconut. I need to break my coconut. I need to break my coconut. My coconut requires breaking. Bye, buddy. 
Don't you dare leave me. Don't you dare. I need to break my coconut. Aaron Gaming, welcome to the stream. You're not leaving, <laughs> okay. You are one, I am. I am the coconut. What the frick am I supposed to do? Have you tried using the stick on the co- Yeah, I tried using the stick on the coconut. Do I need- I d <sighs> mm. I, I feel like it's got to have something to do with the mud monster. And we can't disturb him during his bath. Because if I do the glass here, he's like, I can't do that while the mud monster is here. So we have to get rid of the mud monster somehow, right? Right? So I feel like we need to get rid of this guy, but I literally don't have anything else to do right right yeah i hope you get your internet soon oh congrats with the move in this doesn't work i mean if you try hard enough snuckers oh it'll work Oh, it'll work. Is there another location that I have missed somehow? No, I, I've been everywhere except for the walkthrough in the Mouse City games, obviously. I have delivered the sword to Michael. Oh, wait, wait, something's happening. Thank you, Snuckers. You may have my ancient hammer. I don't use it anymore. Thank you. Thank you so much. I need that hammer. I need it. Thank you, Mr. Hang on, we've got it. Hammer on the coconut. Yes, we have it. This is all that I required. This was all that I needed all along. So now we can coconut in here. Yes. Oh, coconut flakes. Then sugar. Shut up. Milk. And then the sugar. I need the chocolate syrup. I need the chocolate syrup. I need this chocolate syrup. You don't work. How do we kill the mud monster? I have to murder the mud monster. I need the mud monster for the chocolate syrup. Syrup. I have stick. How do I get rid of this guy? How do I get rid of you? I have, no I have nothing to say to that man. Maybe someone else has something to say. I'm stuck on this guy. Holy crap. Go back to the mustache man and talk to him. I just try to talk to everybody. She'll be in one of the videos. Oh. Coconut and coconut guy equals good. Never mind. Definitely not. Use a stick on the coconut tree the monkey climbed up. What about watermelon syrup? Yeah, I can't do anything with the watermelon. You want me to try the stick on the tree? 
Oh my god. Wait, what? Why would... Why would I ever think to do that? Why would I... Uh, okay, let's go. Let's go give the rubber ducky to the mud monster, apparently. Great idea. Sure. Great idea. Why not? A little bit of mud could be useful in the future. And by future, I mean right now. I'm sure he won't taste the difference. Oh, he'll taste the difference, but maybe he'll at least leave us alone. All right, buddy boo, here you go. Is ready, sir. Finally, do you have change for a 20? No, I'll take your 20. Yes, I'll get some change from the cash register. I'm so sorry, sir. Don't worry about the money. The milkshake is on me. No, the milkshake is on me. That's what I, that's what I was gonna say. No! <laughs> I wanted him to at least drink the mud. <laughs> I wanted him at least drink the mud. Oh, what a disappointment. Oh, what a disappointment. Oh, man. <laughs> well, and that's the story of uh, the quest for milkshake, everybody. <laughs> that's quest for milkshake, blam. That's one more Carmel Games game down. Uh, the next one we're gonna be doing is A Day at the Library. Oh my god. I was I got stuck like what, twice that time? These games are usually on the easier side, but I got stuck like twice that time. A rubber duck, a good thing for a coconut milkshake. I wonder if I was supposed to discover the rubber duck before I actually figured out the monkey thing? Cause, Cause he was like, oh, you know, this stick wasn't tall enough to get to the coconut. I'm like, well, I don't need a coconut, you idiot. <laughs> I think I just lost brain cells. No, no, you've gained brain cells. You've definitely gained brain cells. Look, we've got another one. We've got a day at the library. It's another crazy dad one, so it's going to be another ridiculous one. Prepare to lose more brain cells. But then we have a Dakota Winchester one coming up after that, so that'll be a little bit better. Blam. I wish it, I've already played the Vortex Point ones. You guys would have really liked the Vortex Point ones. You would have liked those. Those were really good. There's no, I hear no sound. Oh, now, now there's sound. A day at the library. It's Crazy Dad's first day on his new job. A school librarian. Help him get rid of the hooligans inside the library and find himself some peace and quiet. Hooligans. Let's go get the... Oh, there's a part one? Part one? What? Can I, like... I'm curious to know what part one is, but I'm not going to worry about it. This is Crazy Dad's first day at his new job. The doctor told me I need to find a job in a quiet and peaceful place. So I decided to become a school librarian. Okay. What's this? I thought the library would be quiet and peaceful. Instead, I see punk kids playing on their mobile phones and tablets. I need to get rid of them. But are they playing on their tablets and phones quietly? See? Yeah, he's being quiet. Fiction books. This Ooh. is the Wi-Fi connection. If I disconnect it, I'll have no Wi-Fi. Yeah, but neither will he. This is a library, not a place to play with your mobile phone. You're like the definition of cranky old man. I don't need your permission to play in here. I'll do whatever I want. And if you get on my nerves, I'll make you run away. Just like I did with the previous librarian. Oh, it's gonna be like that then. So this means war. We will see about that. Okay, uh, apparently I'm, a, I'm now on a mission to destroy you. I don't see any books inside this box. What I do see is a lot of confiscated items. Probably the previous librarian confiscated those items from the hooligans who visit the library. What kind of goods? What kind of confiscated stuff? Cherry bomb. Cherry bomb? Uh, 
Oh, dude, that's it? Just one cherry bomb? Oh, it, it'll work. Oh, oh it'll work. Uh, what else can we do? Uh, there's a computer. You know you can use a computer without playing on it, right? That is possible. All right, let's go to the fiction book side of things first. Oh, hey, buddy, you don't look like a hooligan. Did you know that hummingbirds are the only animals that can fly backwards? Like, the only an- like... Are they? The only animals? I feel like that's probably one of those mostly true facts, but I bet you anything it's not strictly true. Like... I guess, like, fly at top speed backwards, maybe? Maybe that's what... I bet that's what it is. Because, like, I've definitely seen, like, a crow, right? Like, fly backwards, but not, like, at full speed, right? I've definitely seen it, but not, like, at full speed. You don't say. Yes, and hydrogen gas is the least dense substance in the universe at 0 0.08988 grams centimeters cubed. Did you, did you just say grams centimeters cubed? You didn't even say grams per centimeter cubed? You didn't even say per! And it is physically impossible for a pig to look up to the sky. That's... Again. Technically, it can look up to the sky if it stands on an inclined plane. I know what you mean is, like, level looking up. I know what you mean, but it's not actually true. I can help it. It's for your own good, son. No, let him keep just... Look, look, look. Thinking that just being able to list a bunch of random facts makes you intelligent, it does not. It, it just it just makes you the knower of a bunch of random facts. <laughs> Although, sometimes it's fun. It's good for trivia. If you want to be good at trivia, I guess knowing a bunch of random stuff is really good. Um, I'm not good at trivia. I do not know just a bunch of random... Apparently, I do not know just a bunch of random things. Or at least not enough. I can do something with this flower pot. Can I put a cherry bomb in it? I don't know why I would. There's two of them. I don't know what they're for. But apparently, I want to get rid of him, too. Even though I'm sure he's doing just fine. What's this guy up to? Hey! Hey, you! Wake up! Wake up! It's a library! You can't sleep here! I'll need to find a way to wake him up. I have a cherry bomb. Oh, it'll work. <laughs> hey, you are violating our library's public Wi-Fi access terms and conditions. You are not allowed to access game websites. I'll ask you. I'll do whatever I want. Oh, if you don't listen to me, I'll give you the stick. I'll give you the cherry bomb. You're playing point and click games? I will not allow this in my library. Those games will corrupt your spirit and soul. <laughs> This is true. I have nothing else to add to that. Un Om, hey, welcome to the stream. Greetings from Transylvania. Oh, hello, Transylvania. Also, Felipe Santana, welcome to the stream as well. Hello. And Life with Anger, welcome to the stream. Yeah, if I get stuck, we can get some help, maybe. I saw romantic books, too. They looked romantic. There's no pun there. I just wanted to say romantic weirdly. Honestly, I, I mean, if I was the librarian, I, I really wouldn't care. Point and click's actually really low impact compared to other games. Back in my day, all the kids went to the library to try to play RuneScape. <laughs> oh, there's a coin over here. I've got a coin. Great. Love it. Love the energy. I've got a coin. Don't know what the coin's for. There's a door. Where does the door go? Oh, oh what a cool little nook. Hey, this room is for reading only. He's reading. Yeah, it looks like he's reading. You're browsing a tabloid. It's filled with gossip and shallow stuff. You can't possibly call that reading. Well, if the tabloid was in the library, then it's fair game. Leave me alone. I just got to a part about some crazy guy who tried to ruin the local candy shop. Yeah, that was us. That was us. We did that. That was us. Not on my watch. I can't let you look at this tabloid any further. It will corrupt your brain. And there's nothing you can do about it. Huh. <laughs> okay, there's a water bottle. I don't need it. 
Are you sure? Are you sure you don't need it? I'll take that gong with me. I don't need the bottle of water, but I'll definitely need the gong. Sure, why not? No, that checks out. That totally tracks. I don't know what I'm complaining about. It doesn't belong here. I'll take it with me. All right, can I just flip the switch? There, suck on that. Now what? Can I take the tabloid from you? I feel like I'm supposed to do something now. Am I supposed to, like, shine his eyes with a flashlight so that it's too hard for him to see? And then he has to, like... Hey, what are you oh, wait. Doing? Turn the lights on, you crazy man. I don't know where the lights are anymore. Oh, God, they're right here somewhere. I don't know what we're supposed to do about that. Um... I assume take his book, but I can't like click on it. So I'm guessing we have to do something to his face to make him not able to read, which sounds really mean, but I don't see anything else to do at the moment. I'm gonna go up the stairs up here. No, not up the stairs, to the right, the exit? Is there a, ooh, we can go into the bathroom. Oh, there's a lighter. I've got a lighter. There's a bathroom. What's in the bathroom? What's in the bathroom? It is a mirror. Am I supposed to do something with the mirror? Yeah, if you don't know anything about plumbing, don't go sticking your nose where it don't belong. No, that's a toilet paper roll, but I'll forgive you this time. Uh, I don't see anything. I can cherry bomb the toilet. Why? Why are we doing this, though? Why? Oh, God, it's lit. It's going to kill us all. It's going to kill us all. Why am I doing this? Why have I just become a vandal? Boom? <laughs> Is it gonna boom? <laughs> oh, there's an I was here sign. Okay, am I supposed to, am I supposed to do something? Lady Rock, uh, welcome to the stream. No, I, I, I'm not reading the chat like every five seconds. I, I, that way I get some of the game done, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, I used to watch Family Guy and American Dad a lot when I was much younger. Cleveland Show, I never cared for it, but it also came out when I was kind of tired of doing Family Guy. So like, it was at the end of my interest in it. Throw something at it, maybe? Yeah, where's the kaboom? Where's the kaboom? I wonder if, here's what I think we need to do. I think we need to convince someone that they need to go to the bathroom, and then when they go in here to go use the toilet, they explode. It's out of order. <laughs> Why we did that, but I'm just gonna leave. Now we do have a machine here. There's something at the top. Oh, I was hoping I could grab whatever this donut is. Oh, I've got a coin. We can get a drink of some kind. Oh god, that was very loud. Cool. Now if we get someone to go pee or poo. I brought you a cool drink. Very good. I'm thirsty. I'm gonna explode you with a cherry bomb so hard. That was good. Now I need to go to the bathroom. But I'll be back soon. Maybe I'll let you shine my shoe. Three, two, one. That sounded like a lot more than a cherry bomb. That sounded a lot worse than- I gotta go see this. I gotta go see this. I guess my cherry bomb scared the punk away, and he ran off. Or he evaporated. Also, the mirror is broken. I bet we can take this. <gasps> we can. <laughs> One murdered child down. Just a few to go. Okay, anyway, uh, evil magic man Mo aside, what else can we do? What am I doing with the glass? I feel really nervous about, like, a bunch of sharp glass. I'm gonna hurt somebody. Oh. Is that all I needed to do for that guy, or will he actually be back? I thought I tried to click on that earlier and it didn't do anything. Can I put the glass in? Oh. Oh no! I'm allergic to the sun. I have to go home. <laughs> what? 
I could shift over six centimeters, or I could go home. Um, I guess I'll go home. Run, son. Run like the wind. Can I take the glass back? No, I cannot. It will not. It definitely will not let me grab it. All right. Uh, how about this? Oh, the gong will probably wake you up, right? <laughs> this kid's asking the only legitimate question. Why? <laughs> what? Who, wait, who wakes up after being asleep? Wakes up. What? Why? <laughs> Why am I awake? Dear Lord, anything but awake. All right, can I take the tablet with me? I can oil it. He's coming back. I better look innocent. I'm back. I don't need your Wi-Fi. I have lots of games I can play. Okay, but you can do that like anywhere. My tablet. It's all slippery. Oh no. My tablet is broken. I'm going home to try and fix it. <laughs> That was the most innocent and most composed we've ever seen Crazy Dad pull off. Well, that just leaves you, kid. Oh, maybe I could... Oh, do I have to hit that water bottle? There it is. You broke a bottle of water on my head. And you ruined the tabloid. Hey. It wasn't me. Now I'm leaving this place, and I'm never coming back. Oh, it's kind of a bummer. That was the only kid that was actually reading something. Even if it was a tabloid, at least he was reading, I guess. Now I can finally enjoy the peace and quiet. It's not like, because as long as you don't believe what you read in tabloids, I mean, it's kind of the same thing like reading fiction. It's just, or, it's kind of like for fun, right? Oh, no. No. No, please. Please, God, no. Please. No, not again. Please, no. Please, no! No! <laughs> oh, it's the town people from the candy shop one. Dance party. We could just do this. We could just do this for the rest of the stream. What do you guys think? Oh, the music stopped. Oh. Bollocks. Hey, And that was a day at the library, everybody. <laughs> oh, man. Tootie fruity. Oh, fruity. Tootie fruity. Oh, fruity. Wait, what crazy dad is this? This was a day at the library. Yeah, that, w that explosion was so loud. Oh, the kid with the glass? Yeah, he was a vampire for sure. <laughs> I can feel his pain. David and Keith in Haunted Lighthouse. We're doing it in order from oldest to newest. With any, except, with any exceptions for being the ones that I've already played before. Because back when I first discovered Carmel Games, because someone suggested it to me, we played a handful of like random ones and some of the newer ones. Uh, but then when I finally decided, okay, I think I think this is popular, just popular enough that I'll go ahead and play all of them. Then I started from the very beginning and, beginning and started to work my way uh, to the newest. So we're just going from oldest to newest right now. So I don't know if we'll get to Keithan or not today. We'll see. We'll find out. But the next one up on my list is going to actually be Dakota Winchester. His adventures. I think it's going to be part two. Part three, which part are we on? Part two, Cactus City, will be the next one that we do. Uh, when is the Keithan one coming up? The Keithan one, oh, it's still a ways away. Let's see here, I'm trying to find it. Yeah, the Keithan one's still a long, oh yeah, there it is. That's like two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Did I have any Vortex ones? There's a fort, so 13, actually. 13, 14. Yeah, it's like 20 games away. It's like a long ways away still. It's a long ways away, but we're getting there slowly. We're getting there slowly. 
So the next one we're gonna do is gonna be Dakota Winchester's Adventures Part 2, Cactus City. Can I turn up the vol- I can. Absolutely. Yeah, whenever you guys hear an issue with the audio, if you find the volume to be too loud or too quiet, let me know. Didn't you play Vortex Point? I have. I have played all the Vortex Point ones. So if you want to see those, you'll have to watch those because I'm not going to stream them since we've already played them. And I'm trying to get all the ones that we haven't played. But I have played them. I have played all the Vortex. They're in a playlist, I'm pretty sure. I think if you go, let me check real quick. I think if you go to YouTube and type Magic Man Mo Vortex Point playlist yes if you type in magic man mo vortex point playlist you'll get my my playlist and then you can watch all of them yeah perfect do i know all the characters from the simpsons i know a lot of the main ones i don't i don't know all of them i'm stuck on a walmart ad Oh, okay, it's loading now. Here we go. Blam. It, was, it wasn't finishing. It was just stuck in a Walmart ad. Dakota Winchester's Adventures Part 2, Cactus City. The strong-jawed archaeologist Dakota Winchester is back. Join him at Cactus City in the search for the second hidden ruby. Now, we've already played Part 1. Not today. We didn't play it today, but we have already played part one, so you have to go check that out for sure later if you want to uh, watch part one. But this is part two. We're on a quest to find three, like, rubies. I think I just read that, right? Search for a second hidden ruby. Yeah, we're on a search for three hidden rubies, and then something happens, I guess. So here we go. Play. My studies have shown that the second lost ruby of Hilda's box should be in an abandoned mine here in Cactus City. I already have one ruby with me, the very one I found last time on Gustavos Island. Now let's get down to business. Let's get down to business to discover the ruby. <laughs> Just an empty barrel. I don't think I can use it. Oh, you never know when an empty barrel is going to come in handy. There's a wanted woman okay. here. A crazy guy named Mr. Punko. $10,000 reward. I better keep my eye on Oh, but Mr. Punko was uh, like a gangster from one of the other games. I remember Mr. Punko. It says here I can get some free chili at the local bar if I show this ad. I'd better take the ad with me. I'm going to get get myself some chili. That's a prickly pear. And I better not touch it with my bare hands or I'll get stung. It's a prickly pear tongue twister, and I don't remember what it was. Peter picked a peck of pickled peppers. That has nothing to do with prickly pears. Oh, you know what prickly pear reminds me of? It reminds me of Spy Fox, the third one. Uh, Operation Ozone or something like that. You go to a desert and there's a bunch of prickly pears there. That's what that reminds Hello. me of. Hello. Howdy. You're new in town, right? Yes, I'm a visitor. I'm looking for a special ruby hidden somewhere in this town. Specifically in a mine shaft. So if you could point me in the direction of the mine shaft. Oh, there's no such thing in Cactus City. But you're welcome to look for it. I will. I will continue to look for it. Thank you very much. By the way, my name is Andy Baker. I work for the good folks of Cactus City Train Company. That's swell. My name is Dakota. Dakota Winchester. Is that it? Is that all we got? Anything Hello. else we can do with you? Yes. Oh, my. Yeah, no, that's it. We just had a word with old Andy Baker. I hope you're not thinking of stealing that lantern. I am thinking of stealing that lantern. Are you going to stop me? Are you a sheriff? I don't see a star on that chest. Happens no. Just borrowing it. Well, you can't. Not as long as I'm here. The good folks of Cactus City Trade Company are paying me a lot of money to make sure this lantern stays in its place. Specifically the lantern, or do you have another job as well? Can I go back inside here and look in that chest? No, I cannot. So, uh, we need to get rid of you somehow. Maybe with the chili. I don't know how or why. Uh, but maybe with the chili. Maybe we give him chili and then hide in the barrel. And then he eats the chili, and then he has to poo. And then he has to leave. And then when he leaves, we get out of the barrel and we grab the lantern. That's what I think is going to happen. But I don't have any chili. So we'll come back, maybe. Oh, there's a map. Uh, we got the train station. That's where we're at. There's a carpenter shop, saloon, bank, general store, fruit shop, abandoned mine. Let's just go straight to the abandoned mine and see what happens. 
That is an angry looking bull and vulture. Hey fellas, you wanna play? I can't take the rope while the angry bull is there. I better find a way to get rid of him or make him happy first. Yeah, we're not even close to figuring that out yet. I need to get a lantern and use a rope to go down there. Okay, great. We know that we need things. All right, I'm out of here. Let's go to the carpenter shop because when there's a broom. That's a fine looking broom. Yeah, my father carved it himself. Yeah? May I take it? Yes, but only if you help me first. I need your help organizing those logs inside the crate. So if I help you organize some logs, you'll give me your, like, family heirloom that your dad carved himself? Sure, why not? All right, I'll try. Oh god, oh, it's one of these. It's a puzzle. It's a puzzle. I can't move the ones that are already in there, but I can move these ones. I can move- you're gonna go to the line block. Line block. I'm just trying to see if, uh, it does kind of snap in place a little bit. But not down there, so I bet it goes- I bet it goes there. <laughs> it kind of snaps in place where it needs to go. Kind of. Yeah, so I can kind of I can kind of cheat just a little bit. I can cheat just a wee bit. Nope Not right there. You got it. You got it, buddy. You got it, Bucky. No, I bet it, it has to go there. It has to That's too long Yeah Yeah, Bucky Look, I've organized your logs. I'm gonna take your dad's favorite broom thing. I Have a broom da 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 da. I mean the true broom was the friends we made along the way. There's a plank of wood here. What are you planning on doing with this board? Nothing. I don't need it. Can I take it? So, if you don't mind, I'll take it with me. I'm not going to pay you. I'm just going to steal all your things. No problem at all. Wow, you guys are so generous. You're so generous. Can I take that saw? No, nothing to do with the saw. Can I talk to you? Hello, you must be the town's carpenter. Why, yes, I am. Jared and Sons at your service. Jared. Do you have any sons? Great. I'll let you know if I need anything. All right. We have a sale on coffins if you're interested. Do you? I'm not interested. I don't plan on ever dying. Ever. <laughs> uh, we've got a wood and a broom and I'm out. Bye. I'm gonna go to the saloon next. We can probably get some of that there chili. Give me some of that there chili. I have with me. It says I can get some free chili. You mind speaking up a little bit? You're very quiet. All right, I've got some free chili. Anything else you want to talk about? I have nothing to say to him. Nope, we are done with that man. You look perturbed and or curious about something? Hello there. Those are three very specific things. I understand the chili. Since you probably eat a lot of it here, but watermelon and oranges I would think would be pretty rare out here out in the middle of the desert. I see. Have a nice day, ma'am. Can I have this cup? No, nothing to do with the cup. Well, you're hungry, and I guess I need to feed you. I don't know why yet, but I guess. And there's nothing else I see to do, so I'm out of here. Let's go to the bank. Oh! Robbery. Hand over the money. I'm gonna give you some chili. This doesn't I'm gonna stick you. I'm gonna broom you. I'm gonna hide in a barrel. I'm gonna take your gun. Why don't you put the gun down and relax? Mind your own business, you big head. Big head? I don't have a big head. This head's bigger than mine. Well, I think we need to save this poor man. I don't think he's available right now. I think he's very available. I think he's single and ready to mingle. Uh, I don't see anything else to do. I guess I'm gonna go either get a sheriff or find a way to fight that man. I'm gonna go to the general store. Hey, buddy. Uh, that's a fine looking shovel you've got there. I feel like I want it, but I can't click on it. Hello, sir. How may I help you? Uh, there's a bank robbery going on down the street. Maybe that interests you. What are you selling here? Well, it depends on how many gold coins you have. I have zero. I don't have any gold coins with me. Then come back when you do. <laughs> okay, well then that's that then, huh? Uh, I'll come back when I have gold coins. Well, there's like nothing going on in town that I can really accomplish at the moment. There's like still another place we, we can still go to the fruit shop. Oh. That's a scorpion. It looks like a poisonous scorpion. I need to kill it, or else it'll hurt the town's people. I've got a broom. 
Thank you, mysterious stranger. Thank you for saving my poke, life. Poke, 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 poke. Oh my god. Please help yourself to one fruit for free. Orange or watermelon. Can't I take both? No, only one. Your gratitude is most appreciated. Aren't you glad I I'll didn't say orange. apple? All right, I'll take the orange for now. I bet watermelon's gonna be more helpful. So, you're selling fruit. Yes, it's a risky business. We fruit shops attract a lot of poisonous scorpions and snakes. But still, someone must step up and do this dangerous job. Yeah, that's right, you're so brave. Every morning, my wife bugs me to quit my job. And every morning I reply, Martha, no guts, no glory. Martha, Martha, no guts, no glory. The words of a brave man. Kudos. I, you know what? This is my favorite character here so far. In this game so far, you're my favorite. You're great. I love you. There's no way I'm cleaning this up. Oh, well, maybe there's like, maybe I can take like a bit of his poison or his pincer or something. Well, that lady was tired of oranges and watermelon, so I don't think I can give her either one of those two. I still think I, in order to get the s s the lantern, I still think I need to give you the chili. I brought you some tasty five yeah, chili. Yeah, I knew I did. I shall have some. I haven't eaten all day. Oh my god, it's disgusting. My stomach. I feel sick. I told you he's gonna have to go poop. I'll borrow the lantern. I need it to enter the abandoned mine. Yeah, and can I use the board to get the prickly this pear? Doesn't work. Can I use the orange? This doesn't. None of those things. Okay, that's fine. Let's leave that for now. Just to confirm. I'm <sighs> she definitely said she didn't want oranges, oh. right? Yeah, chili, watermelon, and oranges. She wants something else entirely. I don't have anything else at the moment. How dare you? Tyler Hanlon, welcome to the stream. What's going on here? Are you spamming now? Hey, life with anger, quit that. Yeah, I'm gonna catch up on some chat real quick. Yeah, it's a shame Vortex Point came to an end. Log puzzle, great to hear your uh, to your voice, but I was referring to games because volume is not loud to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I increased the volume of that for sure. Did you watch Amphibia and the Owl House? Never heard of either one. I have not yet played Henry Stickman, although I definitely should. Watermelon at the bank. I was wondering. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking the watermelon might help us with the robber. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking that might that might work. No, I've never heard of Amphibia or Owl House. And by the way, uh, I wasn't paying attention. Don't spam anything, guys. Don't just repeat stuff. Like when you said now like a bazillion times, don't do that, okay? Or I'll time you out. No, I've not yet played Henry Stickman, although I should. Okay, back to this. I do think we're gonna need that watermelon. I haven't tried the orange, but I do think the watermelon's gonna help us more with the bank heist, probably. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. I didn't read all of the instructions that you guys gave me. No, nothing? What if I put the board? Ah, here we go, here we go, we're onto something. Hey! Hey! My life. That's all right. I'm starting to get used to it. Seems like all the people of Cactus City need me to save them. Yes. Well, please take this gold coin to show my appreciation. Hey, a gold coin, so I can bring that to the store. Great. Thanks. And there's a gun. I want to take the gun. I think I'd better leave him this way until the sheriff comes and gets him. Well, we should probably disarm him, though, right? We should just leave leave him with his gun. So, how are you? I'm feeling great. Thanks for your help. <laughs> the sheriff will be here soon. Do you have a gun? You should probably have a gun. <laughs> uh, we're going to go to the general store. I have a singular gold coin. Will that buy me that shovel, maybe? Hello. Hello, sir. How may I help you? What are you selling here? 
Well, it depends on how many gold coins you have. I have a million. I went to buy the store. I have one gold coin. Okay, I have one gold I coin. Give you a pair of wood gloves. Great, thanks. All right, it's not exactly what I was expecting to get, but it's something. Um, heck, have we done like everything except the abandoned mine at this point? Uh, except for the saloon, we haven't gotten any. F oh wait, the prickly pear! <gasps> yeah, with the gloves. To get the prickly pear. And now we can give that to the saloon girl. No, don't prick yourself. Yeah, have this prickly pear. Oh, that's the most exciting thing that happened to me all day long. Thank you. Please take this rare silver coin. Rare silver coin. What do I do with a rare silver coin? Does the general store want that? What can I get for this rare silver coin? If you have 29 more, I can give you Jesus. I, excuse me, a what? Sorry, but I only have one. Tough crowd. Well, I can give you this pickaxe. Great, thanks. All right, well, we have a pickaxe. I think that seems like it might be everything. Abandoned mine. Lantern. This doesn't. Pickaxe. This. I don't trust that boar. That boar. That bull. I need to use a rope to go. Yeah, can oh, I? don't have the rope because you've got the rope. I need to make the bull this. happy. How do I make a bull happy and or get rid of you? The rope next to the bull could be useful, but I need to find a way to take the rope without making the bull even more angry. I also don't trust the vulture. I also do not trust that vulture. Is there something else that I've missed ever? Just an empty barrel. I don't think I can use it. Just. Has there been something I can pickaxe somewhere? I don't think so, I'll be honest. How dare you shark me? How dare you? Shake the pole to get the rope? What po oh, what pole am I shaking? The vulture po what pole? This pole? Oh! Okay, yeah, no, that gets me a fa- I didn't think of the pole. I was just looking at the vulture and then the feather? And then the- <laughs> tickle, tickle, tickle! I never want to hear that sound again. I don't think it's safe to take the rope now. I don't think it is safe. It looks like it might still murder us. Okay, I guess that's good enough. I guess we're going in. I'm going in. Go in with the lan with the lantern. I've got an X for X marks the spot. Ah, she's out. Hey, hey, that's Ruby number two. To be continued. Hey, and that was Dakota Winchester's Adventures Part Two, Cactus City. I was stuck there a little bit. I didn't think I didn't think of shaking the pole. I didn't think of shaking the pole. That would have been a while. I'm like, surely there's something else we can do. I kept trying to click on the vulture, but of course I didn't need to shake the vulture. I needed to shake the pole. Yeah, I don't want to read the comments right away. I want to try to think of it myself first, and then I'll look at the comments. Do I watch some series? Not really. I basically work all day and then I play games for YouTube and stream. I don't have, I don't have time. <laughs> Lol, that donkey. Uh, it was supposed to, I think that was supposed to be a bull, but it definitely sounded more like a donkey. Tyler, I've been doing well, how are you? I was having it a bit rough last week. I was in a bit of an existential crisis with the channel, and I was kind of feeling down and blue, but I'm doing better now. I think I'm doing a little bit better. Yeah, no, I, I saw you the first time about the Henry Stickman thing. I know it's very popular, and I know I'm probably missing my chance right now, but I, I'm going to try to... I think I'm going to try to record it this weekend and maybe release them as videos. So we'll see how that goes. Maybe not. Maybe it'll be a stream thing. We'll see. 
I haven't had the time to uh, sit down and think about it yet. Hopefully I will this weekend. There we go. That was the Dakota Jones one. Next up is going to be Urius's House of Spooks. I don't think we've played that one yet, so we'll be doing that one next. We're just barreling through all of these. Speaking of House of Spooks, Spooky2022, thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate that so very much. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. All right. Going in. Blam. Maybe? Blam. Hey. Oh, you're spooky 2202? 22, 22, 22, there you go. Well, thank you. Thank you anyway. You're out of town for a week. Well, welcome back. I hope you were out of town for fun things and not bad things. Or at least better things than bad things. All right, English, Inglés. Hit me up. Here we go. It's happening. Urius's House of Spooks. While playing at the local park, Vladimir's nephew accidentally flies his remote control airplane right into crazy Urius's house. Join Vladimir on his journey of retrieving his nephew's toy back. I'm gonna hit the old play button. Is that is that Urius? I'm Vladimir, I guess. Although I feel like your I feel like Urius here looks more like Vladimir. Personally, I'm just saying. Uncle Vova. Also, could you speak up? You're very quiet. Oh no! The airplane went right into Crazy Furious House. What? No worries. I'll get it back. And there I went, never to be seen again. Before I go get that plane, let's pick up some gum. Ew, there's gum on the handrail. He's not gonna touch it, is he? Sometimes you see that in point and click games where you just pick up chewed gum and like I'd be I'd be the same way. I would never touch. I would never touch chewed gum. It's gross. Yes? What do you want? Hi, Mr. Crazy Urius, sir. My nephew's remote control airplane accidentally flew inside your house. Can I have it back, please? Listen to me, young man. Do you know why people around here call me Crazy Urius? Um, because you're uh, related to Crazy Dad? No, but I'm afraid I'm about to find out. <laughs> <laughs> you sure are. I have a rule around here. You who knocks on my door shall be locked inside my basement for good. <laughs> oh, also I'm a mad scientist, so don't try anything or I'll turn you into dust. One, how are you lifting me right now? Two, I didn't knock on your door. I rang the doorbell. So I think... I think you have to let me go. By the way, I've taken your wallet. I won't be using it anymore. I really love money. Make yourself comfortable. You'll be staying here. Daddy shot the Daddy shot the Daddy shot the Daddy shot. How dare you? I'm in the middle of dialogue right now, thank you very much. But we'll be staying here until he needs to use my body for an experiment. Oh my god, why is the voice acting so quiet in this one? I hardly see anything. The, I would turn the volume up more, but the, the music isn't quiet. You know what I mean? I might be able to do... I can turn it on and off, but I can't really change the volume level. What a pain in the butt. The music's too loud. The voice acting is not loud enough. What's well, very dark in it. Well, I guess this is where we die. I guess this, this this is it. This is the end of the world as I know. Oh. We've turned the lights back on. Crazy Urius has a lovely book collection. Danger by Luke Out. Cooking Spaghetti by Al Dente. Artificial Clothing by Polyester. And Come On In by Doris Open. I love it. I love the puns. Get it? Luke Out? Like, Look Out? Danger? Al Dente? Spaghetti? 
polyester. Anyway. Alright, same books. Computer? I don't think it could help in any way. Is it connected to the internet? We could play some video games. Some video games? Hey, there's some cool stuff inside this box. Oh, we got a dollar bill and an oil. Great. I, how is that going to help us? It's locked. I can't open it. Can I go through the window? <laughs> the window is unlocked. That's good. Ugh, I still can't get it open. It's stuck. Well, we can unstuckify it with the oil. Now we can get it open. Hey, and we can get out. Yorius is more than crazy. He's dumb. But I'm not giving up on that psychotic scientist. I'll get my nephew's airplane. Can I take the gum now? Ew, there's gum on the handrail. Gross. What if we use the dollar to collect my the gum? Trap is all set. Wait, it's a trap? I mean, I guess so, because he said he like likes money for being evil or something. Are we going to get him to just <laughs> touch the gum and be gross? He's going to be all grossified. Ah, he's left the door wide open. The coast is clear. I think I can go inside and take my nephew's airplane back. Oh, this would be tense as heck in real life. Sneaking into a man's house while his door is open. There's a butterfly net in here. I'll, I'll take that butterfly net. There's a black light bulb in here. I'll take it with me. Ooh. Ooh, black light. No time for chilling in front of the TV. Crazy Urias could be back in any second. This house is crazy. Also, is that blood stains? What and pee stain? What? Why are there stains in the carpet? I want to go into what is this? The kitchen? It's a kitchen. Ew, what is on the counter? Ew, it's like gross. I can't open it. That seems to be stuck. Well, I don't have my oil anymore, so I can't go do that. The fridge is locked. What kind of person locks his fridge? The kind of person that keeps dead bodies in his fridge? Well, I don't have a way of getting in there at the moment. Let's go up the stairs, I guess. Oh no, the place is spooky, scary. An old rusty statue. All right, fair enough. What's in this one? The bathroom of blood. Oh, I can put the black light bulb in here. Don't know what that did. Probably don't want to see what that does. All-purpose cleaner. Oh, I've got some cleaner. Do I need to clean the? I think this tub needs something. something more powerful to make it clean again. Yeah, that is disgusting. Please let it be tomato soup. I am not shoving my hands inside. It's not tomato soup. It's not tomato soup. I've got a bowling ball from the tub. What? Why? Okay. Well, also, why do I have? Why did I? Now it's working. Why did I put that in there? What, what has that done for us? I don't know. We did that. I don't know why we did that. We'll come back, mate. Oh, it's dark and spooky in here. There are a few blank papers on the table. I'll take one with me just in case I need it. Sure. Just in case I need some paper. Ooh. It's a lamp. Cool. With the lights on, can I like take anything out? I'm not sure. This doesn't... I'm not... Oh, wait, pillow? Regular bed. Uh, but what's this underneath it? It's a suitcase. Oh, there's something underneath it. Oh. One. Two. Three. Four. I guess this is not the correct code. Blast! Okay, great. Um, I bet the combination's on that paper, and I bet we need, like, the black light to see it, maybe? What's inside here? Daddy that could not have been timed any better. You spooked me with the daddy shark. You spooked me with daddy shark. You suck. Oh my goodness. A lot of the arts inspired from Manic Mansion 2, Day of the Tentacle. I've heard of Day of the Tentacle. I've not, I've not played it. I should, though. I want to. Red Grass, Grasshopper, and Chavo. I only know it from Inca Games, but beyond that, I don't know anything about them. Who dares to disturb my sleep? I'm sorry, did I disturb your sleep when uh, we played Daddy Shark? 
It is I, your lovable neighbor, Vladimir. Now, if you don't mind, I'll just take my nephew's airplane. Yeah, he's right there. You're not going anywhere. If you want to go behind my coffin, you'll have to pay with blood. And there must be another way. We can go get you some blood. No, bring me blood. Any blood would do. Oh, well, at least you're being amiable about it. Well, we can go get you some blood. Some blood. We'll go get you some blood. I'm going to use the paper on this, maybe? Hey, I can see something is written on this piece of paper. Yeah, what's it say? What's hey, it say? I can see something is written on this piece of paper. 9369 Alright. 9 9 T3 60 There's a hammer inside. It's mine now. It's mine. It's all mine. I wonder if I can use the hammer to break the padlock on the refrigerator. I need to find the key. No shortcut. I don't need the key. I need to find the key. You're full of crap. Can I use the cleaning spray to Can I use the hammer to key in here? Now it's in my pocket. <laughs> that was violent. I hope Urius didn't hear us. Oh. 90 3 60 Nah. I guess this is not the correct code. Well, it's a very long code. I don't have anything for that. I don't have anything for that. I don't have another code. Where am I supposed to get another code? What am I supposed to do with a bowling ball? There aren't very many rooms. I can I can go back outside. Oh no, I cannot go back outside. So the question becomes. No time for. Well, is there something on the seat? Is there something? Hey, yeah. Is there a reason? No, nothing. I guess we gotta go back upstairs. An old rusty statue. What if we old oh, rusty? What if we clean the statue? Now it looks much better. It's a statue of Urias' great great grandfather, Theodore A. Marshall, 1785 to 1884. 1785, 1884. 1785, 1884. 1785, 1884. 1785, 1884. 1784. Was that what it was? I don't remember. I don't remember. Is it this? Hey, ketchup. Okay, well, we can pretend it's blood. We can pretend the ketchup's blood, right? What are we doing with the bowling ball? We haven't used the bowling ball yet. Hey, it's definitely blood. My blood. Did you bring me blood? Yes, I definitely brought you blood. I've got it. Here you go. Yeah, I, I, I hope you enjoy it. I've got my nephew's remote control airplane. Oh, is he not going to come out? I've still got my bowling ball. Did I roll the bowling ball down the stairs? Is someone gonna try to stop me? This doesn't work. You don't work. Now, in order to save money, I must act rationally. I need to consider the wind direction and the air humidity. Now, let me think. <laughs> Crazy man at work. No uh -oh. kidding. Crazy Urius is blocking the exit. I must do something before he notices me. Well, it's time to go bowling, everybody. You again? What are you so happy about? This time I'm going to put you in chains. <laughs> you won't have the chance, you fool! <laughs> I was expecting him to bowl it, not just chuck it at his head. Oh, that was good. <laughs> clunk, clunk. Oh, that was so. That was that was like. Really anticlimactic, but also really satisfying. That was so dumb. Oh man, that was Urius's house of spooks, everybody. That one wasn't so bad. That one wasn't so bad. We figured that one out pretty well. I thought we did pretty good at doing that one. Congratulations, us. I don't know any. I don't know what Lin Loud is. I don't know what any of that is. Yeah, shark scared me that time. You spooked me. Yeah, things are always locked.
Yeah, fireball doesn't work right now, Louise. Sorry. I didn't think you. I, I guess like with the like beard, look like Jafar or something. The th yeah, the way he threw the bowling ball, right? It was just perfect. Yeah, if I need help, I'll definitely come to the chat and see what's up. For the most part, I try to get by without it, though. I try to get by without help. N the next one is Maplewood Junior High, I think. I feel like I've played a Junior High game, but maybe not the Maplewood one. No, I guess I haven't played that one yet. Maybe it was a high school or something like that. There was some game called like something high school or something junior high or something like that. That I have played. I don't remember what it was called. This one's just called Maplewood Junior High. Maplewood Junior High Multimedia Rocks 96. It all started when Murdoch's teacher gave him a school assignment. It's hard to do an assignment when you don't have your notes with you and you have to use the school's old computer lab. Think you're up for the challenge? I'm always up for a challenge. Look, we just saved ourselves from a psychotic haunted house murder guy. I think we can accomplish doing our homework. I think we can pull that off. I'm gonna hit the old play button. Hey, what's up? Oh, I didn't think there was voice. It's so quiet. Well, besides the sharks, I do not watch horror movies, no. I could turn the music off. Because the voice acting, look, listen to how quiet this is. I don't care. Oh. It's the only computer lab available right now. That wasn't so bad. <laughs> oh. It must have been like that when I got here. Now I want you all to do an assignment on global warming. <laughs> global warming? But everyone knows that's a lie. A bunch of people invent scientific facts to get government funding and raise money for their so-called environmental organizations. Yikes. Yikes. Don't talk to me like that in my face about global warming. Global warming is real. It 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 actually is though. Uh I don't know when this game was made yet. But t turns out, it turns out it was real. You have 1 hour to create the most informative presentation about global warming. The big problem was that they called it global warming when it was actually global climate change. To be more accurate, that's why we have more extreme weather than we used to in the past. Sometimes it's still cold. Yeah, 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 but it's more extreme. Use that presentation software. Um, Force Point or Vortex Point. I don't remember its name. That was a really forced reference. See you soon. That was okay, felt really I'll forced. Find a way to work on these old computers, but unfortunately, there's no available computer lab. Everyone's got a computer but me. Hey, we're in. Should we do we dare to turn the music back on? Okay, I guess I guess that'll be it. That one teacher was so great. There was actually way more animation in her like animation in this game than I have like ever seen anyone animated before. Like there was so much more to that. <laughs> they tried so hard with that. No, I didn't see the 2019 Joker. I didn't. Everyone seemed to think it was amazing. I never went and saw it. All right, we got an outer order paper. Yep. Order. Give me a break. No break for you. It's out of order. No one can use it. Maybe I should write it on a piece of paper and tape it to the monitor. Oh, God. 
So you saw an out of order sign on a computer, ripped it down, turned it off and on, it wouldn't work, and now you think someone should put a paper. This kid is so dumb. This kid is so dumb. It's out of order. No one can use it. It's a big metal cabinet and it's locked. I wonder if I can unlock it. Oh, I bet we can. Oh, 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 but I don't know the combination. Oh, I don't know that much. The computer is extremely hot. I think someone left it on all these years. I mean, if it was hot enough to burn your hand like that, there's something, there's definitely something else going on. Do we need to use it? What was the point of that? Do I, oh, I can leave? Can I leave the room? I can't leave the class. I'm pretty sure Ruth is lurking outside. Oh, Ruth. Is there more to this room? Oh, there's more to the room. Perfect. I was going to say, I hope there's more I can do. Oh, can I steal this piece of paper? That's Arlene's backpack. Hey, Arlene, yes, can I take your paper? Is, and I don't have anything useful inside. Oh, Arlene, I beg to but differ. I can see a note with all the know-how about global warming. No, it's not what you think. Now, please let me get back to my assignment and leave that note alone. But I want it. What I want it. Hey, Arlene, can I see what you're doing? I'm not sure I can handle this global warming assignment on my own. No, it stresses me out. But I can assure you we're both in the same boat. I don't know anything about global warming either. I'm going to get an F. Can I just say, it sounds like they actually got a kid to do the voice acting. Like, it doesn't sound like an adult trying to do a kid's voice. It sounds like they legit got some kid to come in and do the voice acting. And it sounds so much better than most of the adults ever sound. Like, actually, the voice acting in this one sounds so much clearer. <laughs> Can I just say that's super weird? Yeah, right. It was quiet at the very beginning. It's quiet, but it's clearer. Hey, Oak, what's up? Nothing much. I'm fixing the computer. There seems to be some kind of minor problem. Also, the chair I'm sitting in is a bit uncomfortable. Unlike my chair. My chair is nice and comfy. Need any help? No, I used to have a computer like that at home when I was two years old. I can fix it myself. Alright, is there anything? I can keep wandering. Hey, Arlene. Oh, Murdoch, I have no time for chit chat. I hardly know anything about global warming, so I must stay focused on my assignment. Most likely I'll get an F. An F? No way. You always say that, and in the end, you get an A plus plus plus. Yes, but this time I'm serious. I'll talk to you later. Alright, alright, I'll keep exploring the room. Chatting to them is not helping us. Hey, nerd. Hey, Miller. Think you can help me with my assignment? I'm just I kidding. You have a lot of books about it. I called him nerd only because of the bow tie. Anyone wearing a bow tie in middle school? Like... Who are you trying to impress? <laughs> no, I can't help you or give you my books. That would be cheating. You should do it by yourself. That said, if you want to wear a bow tie to your school, I'm not stopping you. It's just unusual. Just be prepared for that. <laughs> Please, I don't have anything. Just give me some photos or graphs. He doesn't have photos or graphs. He's got text. No, no, no. That would risk my chances to get into Harvard. And I don't want to put my future in jeopardy. Oh, man. I don't worry. At, at middle school, you're fine. None of the, the, none of the Harvard recruiters are looking at middle school. I think it's what I'm looking for. Multimedia Rocks 96. Multimedia Rocks 96 gives you everything you need to quickly and easily create presentations. No wonder it's the number one multimedia presentation program. Now with a free pointing stick inside the box. Okay, I have some software now. The server station is password protected. I think I'm supposed to enter a password first. Oh. How do I do that? Do I actually type? <gasps> My god! There you go. Looks like this isn't the correct password. I don't know the password. How do I get out of here? There we go. I don't know the password to this. That's a scanner. I don't have anything to scan yet. Or do I? Your butt. I don't have time to browse software for two days. All right. Anything else we can do here, really? Hey, Miller. Think you can? No, I can't help you or give you my books. That would be cheating. You should do it by yourself. Please, I don't have anything. Just give me Okay, yeah, you know, we've already been through that. I had to refresh my brain. So I don't think plugging the software into this computer is going to help us. Probably not. 
This doesn't work. You don't work. This doesn't. I do have a pointer this though. Doesn't... Oh my goodness, this is very claustrophobic. I don't like this camera angle and the look at this room. It's very claustrophobic. Can I use the pointer to mess with this somebody? Work. I want to. I want to turn someone's computer this off. This doesn't work. This doesn't. I don't know what I'm. This doesn't work. This doesn't. <laughs> I don't. What am... <clears throat> what am I doing? Oh, I can look at the window. Oh. Oh. There's an egg in that bird's nest. Hey! I can clearly see it's an egg from the local grocery shop. It has an expiration date printed on it. Plus, the receipt is lying underneath the egg. That's strange. I guess that means I can take the egg with me. Okay. What a lovely view of the school's parking lot. All right. Well, we can probably go fry an egg on that like scanner or whatever that was like super hot. And maybe now that the window's open, maybe it'll cool off a little bit. I don't know. I smell food. Good food. You don't smell good food. You smell an egg. Hey, Murdoch, is there any chance you'll share your omelet with me? You're way whiter than you looked when you were sitting down. I'm just saying. Sure. Can I have your computer while you're eating? Yep. It's a deal. It will take him all of two seconds to eat that egg. It does not t What is this animation? I just want you to watch that. I just want you to look at this man eat for a hot second. I want you to appreciate whatever is going on in this man's mouth right now. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go borrow this computer. All right, I'm gonna go put the diskette this in here. Doesn't work. You don't I'm work. sure it's a hardware error. All I need is to open the computer's box and reset the user bragging processor. What the heck are you talking about? Waffle OS has <laughs> detected that you have not bragged about your beautiful and overpriced waffle. For 10 minutes, this has caused a fatal error. Is that the, instead of Apple, it's like Waffle or something? What am I, what? I'm pretty sure it's a hardware error. Compu I have to open the computer's box. Where's the, what box? Down here? I'm pretty sure. What do you want me to do? I don't have access to its box. I'm pretty sure. This doesn't, you don't work. This doesn't, that's our link. Yes, it is. But I yeah, blah, 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 blah. How do I open its box? What do you want me to do? I don't have access to a, like a modem. I'm pretty sure. What do you? Why is it that this game feels really weird? I've seen a couple of the Batman movies. Some of the voices are from fans. Oh, that makes sense. I definitely opened the window. To the window. I better leave it open. The stench in here is terrible. I better leave it open. The stench in here is terrible. I can't install any software on the server. Maybe if I had the admin password, but it's still a bad idea. What if it's password? Oopsie. Looks like this isn't the correct. God darn it. Looks like this isn't the. Looks like the. I tried. What am I doing with a pointer? There's gotta be something I gotta like reach with the pointer, right? This music is so dumb. This doesn't. I'm supposed to brag? Can I brag to Arlene? I got bragged about your beautiful and overpriced waffle for 10 minutes. I'm pretty sure it's a hardware error. Oh, computer's box and reset. What box? Hey, Arlene. What? Oh, Murdoch. An F? Yeah. That's our. Yes. But I... Say, Arlene, can I see what you're. No. What? What box? What do you want 
from me. Hey, Miller. Of course, we discussed global warming yesterday at our weekly Geeks Council meeting. That's great. You got any tips for me? No, I'm not allowed to share the secrets of the Geeks Council. The Athena is using for the cabinet thing. Look at the software on the bookshelf. I already have the software. I don't have time to. I already have the software. I can't. I can't Unless, am I supposed to put it in this? Because I, I thought I already tried. I thought I already tried to put this in here. This doesn't work. Yeah, he won't this let me do it. This doesn't work. Yeah, so I already have the software. Athena is for using the. Who's Athena? The cabinet. It's I need. I need to have the combination and I don't have a key this doesn't work this doesn't oops hey there's a screwdriver stuck on Oaks behind wait Let's what see. oh there's a screwdriver on his butt well wh how was I supposed to know Let's that well, here we go. Oh my god. All right, here we go. We figured it out. There are four shapes at the bottom and 16 shapes at the top. And your goal is to connect two shapes at a time from the top in order to create one of the shapes from the bottom. So, like, with this arrow, we would, like, need, like, this line and, like, this guy, right? So, like, that can go there and then it's gonna go there. Blah. See, that creates this shape, right? It didn't highlight, but I think it worked. And so for this for this one we would have to be like Oh that blue one's already connected to it. Get these two together, right? Oh see that did highlight. Are my green ones not in the right place? That seems like that should check out though, right? We'll worry about that in a minute. The yellow though, we can do this half a circle and then do another half a circle somewhere. Am I stupid? I don't see the other half a circle. I don't... Am I stupid? Oh, there's a regular circle. Oh, we can just use the regular the regular butt circle. Here, get, the, get, the, get that out of here. We can just use the regular circle. Yeah. Hey! Oh! Hey! Oh! Hey! Oh! Okay, we got our three things. Why does this not work? Is it... I knew that wouldn't work, but like... Oh, maybe it wants me to do this one. Oh, there you go. Multimedia Rocks 96. The ultimate software for boring presentations and school assignments. Yeah, I got one of those. I installed the number one multimedia presentation program. I hope it'll impress Ruth. I mean, it's one thing to have a presentation tool, but we also need to do the research. Now I'll be able to work on my assignment. Oh. Touching the screen won't help. You shut up. Touching the screen. This is the text tool. Unfortunately, I don't have any text to type because I don't know anything about global warming. Actually, I do know, but if I write it, I might get expelled from school. Uh, okay. I can't use the clip art of multimedia rocks. I must scan pictures to make my presentation look more professional. Okay. I love the microphone tool. I can use it to record stuff. Unfortunately, I don't have a microphone. Okay. Touching the screen won't help. All right, you got it. What if I've got this an does... oh an antenna? It's called an antenna. Well, we've got <laughs> we've got it up and running. This doesn't. I don't. I don't have a camera or anything. This doesn't. What am I... <laughs> What am I doing? Are you done eating? No. It's out of order. No one can use it. Maybe I should write.
Oh, you're you keep saying and uh, Anthena you mean the antenna or oh, the pointer to get this paper? Oh I didn't even see that paper up there. I didn't even see that up there Multimedia rocks 96 teacher guide point click and drag the only skills you'll need to add the power of multimedia rocks 96 Multimedia rocks 96 is the next generation of multimedia presentations you can create slides, overheads, notes, and outlines. Add moving transitions, digital video, and soundtracks to turn your presentation into an astonishing experience. And then we've got some shapes. Am I supposed to figure out what this is? So if like a triangle is 100, a square is 105. So is it for like every side? Because it's like a pentagon, it's like a hexagon. If this is an octagon, then it's 125. So is this gonna be big metal? So is this gonna be like 125? Eureka, I got it. I'm a genius. I mean, ignore the part where I didn't know what to do. Ignore that. <laughs> uh, we've got a vacuum. A handheld vacuum cleaner. I'll take it. And some tennis, tennis balls. Ball. Cool. I'll have one. I already have. I know I already have one, but I want more. I want all of them. It wouldn't please me. What can I do with the vacuum? This doesn't work. I'm gonna vacuum this paper. I've got Arlene's note. And just as I suspected, she's got everything about global warming written in it. I guess she's not using a note because she knows it all by heart. How would a vacuum be sneakier? than just taking the paper when she's not looking. What? <laughs> okay, well we have the tennis ball. And we've got the notes. What am I doing with the tennis ball? Can I tennis ball your face? Hey Miller, lower your head. There's a poisonous spider on the ball behind you. I'll try and kill it with this tennis ball. Great, I hit it. It won't bother you, my friend. Thanks, Murdoch, but I still can't help you with the assignment. What? What? Just what? I see you're taking a break from the assignment. May I borrow your mic in the meantime? What just happened and why? Yes, I actually finished the assignment an hour ago. <laughs> what? Geeks Council top secret info. AXB server's password. Probably A times B. Oh, so we got one two one two one two two one two three. I assume one two four. And then down here we got one six four one six five one six seven. And then a huge one seven four one seven nine one. What? What am I looking at? Cause that's going up by like, oh, it went up by one, then it went by two. Oh, I bet it goes up by three and then four. Oh, so this is probably 170 up by four, up by five. Yeah, so this is 170. So one, am I doing like, here, if we do a calculator situation, right? Cause I ain't doing that in my head, are you crazy? Here, here's my calculator, right? If we do the one, two, four times 170, right? Lamp. Then you got your good old fashioned 21080, yeah? You feel me, you feel me dog? And then we wander over to here and then the password becomes 21080. Got it. Hey! I can use the scanner and get my files from the computer. Please insert your document into the scanner and press the scan button. Touching the screen won't. You shut up. Uh, what am I doing? Am I doing these documents, the notes, into the scanner? This doesn't work. What am I scanning? What documents do I want? What are you talking about? That's a scanner. I don't have anything to scan yet. Or do I? No, I don't. Unless you want me to scan the riddle. You dun you dungus. Can I use this thing yet? This doesn't work. Can I use this on the text tool? I typed all the info hey. from Arlene's note. Okay. I can do the microphone here. Please hit the record button when ready. I'm ready. Let's go. 
Scary ghost effect will do the trick. Okay. It's showtime. Oh, what are we doing? Miller, Miller, this is the good spirit. I command you to give your photograph book to Murdoch. None of this. None of this makes any real world sense. The good spirit? Then I must obey. Murdoch, you can have my photograph book now. Like, I... It makes sense in the sense that I know what's happening. But in what universe? <laughs> Alright, we have the photographs. I'm gonna go scan them now. Now that I have Miller's book, I can scan his photos and use it in my presentation. Something about this game just jives really weird for me. Now the scanned photo can be accessed from all the computers in the class. Sure, that's amazing. All right, I can go use that over here then, I guess, apparently. This is it. My presentation is ready. Let's add some effects. Yeah, global warming. Global warming is the observed century scale rise in the average temperature of Earth's climate system. Since 1971, 90% of the increased energy has been stored in the oceans, mostly in the 0 to 700 meter region. Here's a picture of a seal. <laughs> The auto, like, upgrade just gave it a blue background, sure. Here's Ruthie! <sighs> no. 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 What kind of reference is that, and why? <laughs> why? Why? Okay, listen. Listen. This game is off the wall. This is, this is absurd. So kids, I asked the school technician if these computers are really old like some of you claimed, and he said that you were right. That is why I decided to give you an A minus for your work. Lulu and I worked so hard. I can't get an A minus. I ruined my life. I want to become a veterinarian and save the world. And now. I, I got I got some news for you though that will make you feel better. You you don't you don't need straight A plus A pluses to make to make it to veterinarian. Don't worry, you'll be okay. All right, just shut up. You'll get an A plus. Now go bug your parents. Never mind. If you can just cry a little bit and get a free A plus, never mind. Go for it. Absolutely. <laughs> oh. We did it! Yay! <laughs> and that has been Maplewood Junior High. That was the weirdest vibe. That game had the weirdest vibe of all of them that we've played today. It was just... Something about it just didn't gel right with me. <laughs> and I can't put my finger on it, but it... It... It was a... It was weird. It was a weird one. Oh my goodness. Get the girls notes using the vacuum excellent yeah i see you guys giving me all all the hints or whatever yeah that was a big calculator here we can make it the entire size the size of the screen here we go here here you go hang on yeah here we go yeah we can make it bigger yeah there you go 
Look at this. Oh yeah, that's a big calculator. There, you can't even see. You can't even see anything. It's all just numbers now, baby. It's all calculators from here on out now, baby. That teacher was so crazy. Yeah, no, they were really. And I don't remember what the name of the movie is with the like the here's Johnny reference with the here's Ruthie. It's one of those horror movies. And again, I don't watch a lot of horror. So um, I don't remember what movie that's from. But like, why? Why that reference? Why? Why does that make sense? Um, I think that's a good time, personally, to move into the post show, everybody. I think we've played quite a few Carmel games today. I think that was quite a few. We played Sweet Revenge, Quest for Milkshake, a Day at the Library, Dakota Winchester Part 2, Urias' House of Spooks, and Maplewood Jr. We played six Carmel Games games today. Um, and I think that's a good spot to move in, on into the post show. Uh, I think we're getting, you know, a little toward the end of the stream just a little bit. Um, I know it wasn't crazy long or anything like that, but I think it's, I think that was, I feel like that feels like a good amount of time. Uh, fattest calculator I've ever seen. The fattest, the thickest calculator, right? Will this be up later to see? Um, it will be uh, for sure. So, like after the stream ends, if you have this in your like notifications thing, you know, up there in like the top right of your YouTube page, if you're on PC, if you're on mobile, I I'm not sure where it is, but it, definitely in your notifications, you can find your way back to this if you have notifications. Um, it's gonna go unlisted. The stream is gonna go into unlisted, and it'll go public eventually for the full stream. But the different parts of the stream with the different videos, those will be coming up throughout the next couple weeks. So yeah, it'll be up later if you didn't see all of it. Eventually, as well as the different uh, Carmel games that we played, I'll have them up in different uh, separate videos as well based on the stream footage that we got. So that will all come back up. That, that'll all be back up as well. TJ, hey, welcome to the stream. You just made it in time for the post show. Heyo, it's TJ. Hey. Welcome to the stream, member of the channel. Hey, there it is. Yes, Big Weston, that's right. I just switched to the post-show. Uh, it's a new concept that I'm working with. For those of you that weren't here during the pre-show, um, and for those of you that weren't here yesterday that, may, that maybe would have missed it, this is a concept I'm working with where we have a pre-show before the actual stream begins, where we just kind of hang out and chat about what we'll be doing. I make any announcements I might have and that kind of thing. And we'll have a post-show where after I'm done streaming the game, we can kind of hang out and chill for a little bit, talk, answer questions, whatever you guys want to do for the next little while. And I, got, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys aren't just disappointed that I'm not just playing more of the game, but I feel like it's a good way to like unwind from the game a little bit and talk about something. We did six Carmel Games games today. And I'm looking forward to editing down the different games because in case I wasn't clear, or maybe, and maybe I didn't mention it today during the announcements, I plan on doing a lot more stream-related videos on the channel not to say so like in that sense a lot of the videos i do like you know usually i do like inca games videos well yesterday we streamed three different inca games games so i will be splitting that stream into those three videos but i will be editing it as well it won't be just the stream footage it will also be edited footage into an actual video itself i've done that in the past before where i've just split streams up and then just sent them out there and people don't really like to watch parts of a stream. That people don't really, they feel like they're out of the loop a little bit. I feel like I've got the ability, depending on how well I handled the stream and how well I handled playing the game and that kind of thing, I can edit it up. It'll be like a, re it'll be like a regular video. And I think people that missed the stream will especially enjoy that. And for those of you that maybe made it to part of the stream but missed part of the stream, you'll be able to see that. Or if you want to revisit a part of a stream, you know, the, the videos will be out, that kind of thing. I think it's gonna help me a lot because that means I can do a lot of my recording for videos during streams, which will help me get ahead on the channel so that I can dedicate a lot more of my time to a number of my other projects that have fallen by the wayside. I'm already way behind on the Magic Man Mo channel because I've been trying to stream. Few people try to do like a like like a like like a full time streamer or a full time video person. They don't try to do both. They try to do one or the other. I'm kind of trying to do both, and it's mind bogglingly insane to try to keep up with. So I hope this works out well. So you guys will start seeing what I mean by stream related videos in the next coming week or two, as those start to roll out. Hopefully, I get positive feedback on that. 
if people hate it, then I'll be going back to the drawing board to see what I should do moving forward. When is the next Carmel Games live, uh, live thingy? Sometime next week, I will have another, oops, I just kicked my computer. I will have another poll on probably Saturday. Um, right? Yeah, I'll probably put another poll out on Saturday because I'm going to collect the, the data that I had from yesterday's poll and today's poll. And I'll make a poll Saturday to decide what we'll be playing for sure on Tuesday. And I'll have a poll out to see what we play on Wednesday and a poll to see what we play on Thursday. I'm trying to bring back the polls thing a little bit to give you guys some direction and choice in what we play in the different streams. Because that will directly impact what type of videos you also see in the next coming weeks since they're going to be stream related videos as well you know what i mean so i'm trying to give some of that back to you guys and a lot of you know better than i do what's popular and what you'd like to see so i'm trying to give some of that back to you guys a little bit at a time the only thing the only rule i'm kind of giving myself is i'm not going to stream two things two of the same things in a row so today um I didn't have on the poll options uh, Inca games. Since we streamed that yesterday, I wasn't going to stream it today. I didn't want to do two of the same thing in a row. That way, for my own sanity's sake, I get to mix it up a little bit and kind of shake up what I play. That way, I don't end up playing the same thing every single day. Because I know for sure, I know for sure that like we'd probably get into like at least a a marathon of like Inca games or like a marathon of something else or whatever, like a marathon for a while. This way, I keep to I, I get to keep some part of my sanity a little bit. Whew. I need to breathe a little bit. I need more water. I'm out of water. I had a little, I had a little bit left in there. Not a, not a big cup to make it through a few hours, a couple of hours of streaming. I know it wasn't a super long one today. We started a little bit late, but this felt like a relatively good amount of time for Carmel Games, honestly. Amusing and crazy teacher. I thought it was crazy the, the level of animation that they put into her, the, the level of animation and effort that they put into her. I noticed, uh, by the way, that I'm kind of in front of the box a little bit. I wonder if we should just put... There we go. The chat the chat should go in front of me so that I don't cover the chat. I know there's not a ton of it right now. The post show, it's going to be interesting to see how popular the post show is. And let me know if there's things that we can do during the post show that would make the post show more interesting. And if people just hate the post show, if you don't like doing this little roundup thing, uh, then uh, we can just stop doing it. We'll just go back to just doing the video, the, the regular stream until it's over and then just ending it then and there. Let me know somewhere on the Discord or in chat or in comment or whatever, wherever. Let me know what you guys think about that. It's an experiment. It's definitely an experiment, but it, it's interesting to see, like, how many people stick around to see through the post show, what we talk about, what we're doing, or how many people start filtering or filtering out and that kind of thing. Um, what are you doing on Twitch tomorrow? I will not be on Twitch tomorrow. I will be on YouTube tomorrow with the guys. Tomorrow's Friday. Twitch is on Saturday and Sunday. If you need to know, if you follow my Twitch, by the way, it's at Magic Man Mode. Excuse me, start over. It's at twitch.tv forward slash magicmanmo. There is a countdown timer there. Adjust your schedule accordingly. That's lots of games. What's lots of games? Yeah, we, we played a lot of games. We played six of them today. There's a lot more Carmel games to go and Inca games to go and a lot of just games in, on the planet that I want to play and get around to eventually. Are you going to complete playing Carmel games? Eventually, yes. The plan is to eventually play all of them. And that's a lot of them. We've still got a lot more to go. Um, but yeah, eventually we will play all of them. Now, I don't know if we're going to do a Carmel games round two, the Carmeling, like we did with Inca games. Probably not, because I don't think Carmel games had the impact on my channel quite like Inca games did. If we ever do get a huge demand of people wanting to see it played all over again, then maybe, but not for a while. We'll definitely take quite a break from it afterwards so I can continue to make new content and different content. There's, there are times where I um, semi-regret starting Inca Games Round 2 because I've already played all of them already. So it's kind of like, oh, you know, I'm kind of redoing it all. I'm doing it all, all over again. But so many people wanted to see it, and so many people are enjoying the my second round with all of them, and because it took me so long to play all of them the first time that it just makes vaguely more sense 
so I don't mind it. Part of me is like, oh, I wish I moved on to and doing different things. But the other part of me is like, ah, well, other people really wanted to see it. So we did it anyway. Here it's already Friday. For me, it is still 9.30 p.m. on Thursday. So it's not even Friday for me yet. We've got another two and a half hours before it's Friday in my time. And then it'll be midnight. So for Friday on my time, it'll be games with the guys. Uh, TJ will be there. He was here in the chat a little bit ago. I don't know if he's still hanging out out there or not. But uh, it'll be with TJ and Wiley and uh, Ian. We'll be playing something. I don't know what, we'll, what we will be playing yet. I'm going to be hit messaging them uh, tonight or early tomorrow morning. We'll try to figure out what we're doing. Our stream will start later. For sure by 8 because that's when they're usually ready. I'll probably start the stream earlier than that. Um, just so I can get started. I don't know what we'll do. I don't know if I'll do the pre-show for that stream or not. We'll see. Oh, I forgot to do my chill music while we were doing the post-show. I know it's like too late and I'm like about to end it anyway. I forgot to do the... I forgot to do my chill music. But that's going to do it for the uh, post-show. Arthur, welcome to the stream. Oi, you made it to the post-show. I'm just ending. I'm just ending the show. We ended it a little early. To be fair... I ended it a little early because we had like 10 minutes left until 9.30. Um, but I feel like I'm going... And I hope people are okay with it. I hope people are okay with me ending the streams closer to about 9.30. Between 9.30 and 10. I mean, sometimes we'll go to 10. We've been ending a little earlier here lately. But I'm hoping people are okay with 10 o'clock instead of 11. Because it's giving me more time to sleep at night, which I think I desperately need in my life. I don't think I'm getting enough of it. I think streaming until like 11 and then not getting to bed until like one was kind of starting to hurt. I think I was running myself ragged a little bit. So I'm ending a little bit sooner. I hope people can still make it and I hope I'm not excluding too many people depending on their schedule. I hope that's all right. I'll be a little bit bummed if, that, if I'm excluding anybody. Um, but I think I gotta do it for myself anyway. Otherwise, I'm, 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 again, like I said, I'm running myself ragged. Because sometimes I literally come home from work and I'll, I'll like, pass out in bed and, like, just completely miss a stream. And, like, that's what happened Tuesday. That's why I've been thinking about this. That's why I started doing this new schedule and format starting yesterday. Yesterday was the first time. Because on Tuesday, I came home. I'm like, okay, I've got a stream. I'm going to get ready. I'm going to go do a thing. And I fell asleep. I think I was going to – I was planning on playing maybe Hello Neighbor on Tuesday. And then I'm like, okay, I'm going to go get ready. I'm just gonna lie down for a minute. I'm, I just, I'm, I'm just tired. I'm gonna go lie down. So I lie down at like five o'clock, and I didn't wake up again until like ten. So like I missed my own stream, right? So I was like, wow, I'm, a, I'm way too exhausted to keep this up. Apparently, apparently I'm way too exhausted to keep this up. So I'm changing the schedule to like end a little bit sooner so that we don't keep missing streams. Um, <laughs> but yeah, many updates coming, many things coming. I think that's where we're gonna end it. I think that's what we're gonna do. If you guys have any questions about what we're doing, let me know in comments somewhere and I'll get back to you. I hope this continues to be popular. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please do all the things. And until next time, wash your hands. Okay, bye.